Hello there. Um, sorry that took a bit. Uh, we had we were having some technical difficulties. Still sorting it a little bit, but um, we're getting it taken care of. Uh, we have a couple of things. We have a an update of sorts that needs to finish, but uh, we'll be able, we'll be diving in here shortly. But hey, everybody! It's Friday, and I realized that I'm not supposed to be here on Fridays, but yet here I am. Um, but yeah, Friday is not my normal day of streaming. I'm normally Mondays and Tuesdays, but that's okay. Um, my friend, I also have a uh, guest with me. If I can actually point in the, I'm, I'm gesturing, but it's not in the right direction. So let me try that again. I have a friend with me who I just unmuted in the discord, a friend with me. There we go. Hello. <laughs> um, you hear me now. If you have, you may have seen him on his channel, and, and I mention him every time I stream, and he may, and he's, uh, you may recognize his voice from the few, a few times that he's popped into my Discord while I was streaming. Uh, this is Melador219. Um, hey, this, everybody. <laughs> for the purposes of today, his name is Sam, or Sammy. Mm. Um. And that is my bad Dean imp Dean Winchester impression, but that's okay. Um, anyway, so we're going to be diving into a, uh, a new game, a game that I don't normally stream, a game that I've played that I've not really played before. I mean, I've played it a little bit, right? Because I did some tests with it, and I ran through the excuse me, I ran through the uh, training tutorial thing a little bit yes, just to did. get a feel of the controls. Um, but I am familiar with it due to YouTube and Twitch and streams and stuff. Um, so I'm not going in fully blind, just inexperienced. Um, the, uh, last warning though, I have been saying, if you've seen any of my social media posts or her, or if you came from Yvonne B's, uh, stream, thank you Yvonne, by the way, for, uh, for, uh, you know, promoing us and uh, setting up that raid. Um, but the uh, uh, what was I saying? The yeah, if you if you if you come from one of there or you know whatever, this is a horror game. It's not a game I've no that I would no that I normally play on my streams. Um, it's but it I mean it's pretty good it's a good game you know but it's a horror game which means it's going to be spooky it's going to be creepy it's going to it i wouldn't say it's bloody it's not exactly gory or bloody no nah, not gory yeah um i mean the you see a bone every now and then you see the like it's just it's just generally creepy ambiance um the with the occasional appearance of a ghost with a slight with possible slight jump scares and stuff like that it's it's not a horror game in the sense of like resident evil 7 is where it's like you're walking through and suddenly boom there's a thing in your face or boom you get shot in the arm or you you gut somebody and their blood spills out everywhere with very realistic gore or anything like that um it's uh it's just generally really creepy um it, this game heavily relies on the ambiance of everything. Um, and the... Uh, oh, the... Um, yeah, it, it, without the, without, uh, the ambiance and the lighting, and the game does those both things really well. Um, the... Uh, yeah. Yes. Um, also, I forgot to. Act I was actually planning on starting with, uh, with basically this statement. But Merry Spookmas, everybody. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> it's uh, it's the month of Christmas and Hanukkah and the holidays and all of that. Um, however, we're playing a horror game from Halloween, so it's Spookmas. Sorry, I have a big ass thumbprint in the middle of my fucking lens. Um, also, if you're n there's gonna be swearing, 
uh, from me. Like, I casually swear all the time. It's why I have my channel rated as uh, not for kids and stuff like that. Um, but I uh, there's a good chance that it might cause some extra impromptu swearing from at least Matt, if not both of us. Um, there will there will probably most likely be a couple of, of swears f from me, especially if our ghostly friends that are going to where we're going to pay a visit decide to do something like oh I don't know throw an object at me or whisper in my ear or go all uh, uh, in our face so or you know snap snap your neck um, yes that too yeah the uh, the jump scares are not often. Um, they're not necessarily, I wouldn't call them egregious. Um, it, it, it's, the jump scares really aren't that much compared to your typical horror game. Like, like, like my friend said, most of the game is just the lighting, the ambiance, the, the atmosphere, the, the occasional bump that you hear as we're exploring abandoned buildings and stuff like that. O only occasionally will you, will you get a jump scare. And that's mostly from when we actually start calling out the ghost and being like, hey, why don't you give us a sign? And they decide to scream in our ear or or start singing and other fun things like that. Um, the only other thing that I have that I will have to say before taking a quick uh, tangent before diving into this um, um, is that I meant to mention this to you Matt, last night, Matt, but... I, and I don't, not to think that you or your friends play the game this way or anything like that, but, like, um, I have seen a lot of uh, memes online about this game with uh, people being like, oh, uh, like, actually calling out, like, being really rude and stuff to the ghosts and stuff that when you're talking to them. Like, you can call people, you can call them a bitch or whatever, you know, you can be slightly rude, but, like, to, like, getting severely graphic in the rudeness, you know? Like, going so far as to, like... Like, there are memes online where people get downright vicious to the ghosts in the spirit box chat and calling out the, for the ghosts. Yeah. And we, we as is the case... We doing that today. <laughs> yeah, no. Not that I... Not... Yeah, yeah, it's... This is not... That's, that's not how we do things. Um... So, just as a, just as a, gen if you don't know us, this is a general statement of, we don't do that. Um, but, also, it's the, there's the, shit, what's it called? The, um, as, inev as it is inevitable with, uh, the gaming community in general, um, there are certain individuals who have who play this game and okay so if you, so for those of you who don't know generally how it works is the game essentially randomly generates a ghost for you every time you enter a level from my under, from my understanding it's not it's never the same ghost twice uh like it's completely random name it's completely random type of ghost things like that from my understanding is that correct matt no it's it's a different ghost every time, but sometimes you can get multiple, like, for ex one of the more popular ghosts um, is the Poltergeist. Um, they're usually identified by, you know, like, like the room, like everyone knows about Poltergeist, moving things around, throwing objects across the room. You can sometimes right. get multiple types of the same ghost, but it won't be the same personality every time in a row. Sometimes yeah. you'll get a ghost that's really passive, sometimes they're super aggressive, sometimes they they chase you out of the house different things like that right okay so um the uh it's gonna be it's still so trippy to me when you don't have your steam or in-game names match your your match your uh melador thing yeah. <laughs> i know you do it on purpose but it's like it always trips me out every time because i'm like nakula who the fuck oh right that's matt <laughs> Um, anyway, the, um, but my point, yeah, so it's not fully random generated. You have categories of ghosts where they 
each behave a certain way to a degree or another. However, there are various different personalities and different names each time. It's not like every time you go to a specific location on the map, you will get the same, uh, this was Karen, uh, and she's a poltergeist, or anything like that. There's a, there's a lot of, um, there, there is a decent lot of, um, well, there's a decent bit of R RNG involved, and yeah. um, do you have do you have any strong flashlights, or do you have more than one strong flash? You do have strong flashlights. Okay, good. Yep, I am providing everything on our inventory today, so hopefully I don't die. Yeah. Um, if if I do die though, I can grab... I can pick it. Yeah. Yep. I I will definitely and take a picture of my body, and that way insurance will cover my loss. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> they have some really hilarious touches in this game, like the fact that if one of us dies and the other one takes a picture of the dead body, we have we get in, an insurance payout. You know, <laughs> it's like, yeah, sure, they were killed by a ghost. I mean, they may not have been killed by a ghost. I could have purposely murdered him for the insurance money, but you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway, um. But yeah, back to what I was saying. There is a decent bit of RNG involved, and so as such, there are some ghosts that in life were male, some ghosts that were in life that are female, or at least have names that identify as such. And w regardless of their their you know whatever their living uh, identity was, they they tell us the name of the person who's haunting the place, and then we can use that to talk to them in the game. And um, but as I said, they that the memes are that people get really vicious in how they talk to the ghosts sometimes in this game, and very much so. <laughs> my and and as and as I started to say, as things tend to be in the gaming uh, community, unfortunately, um, that t viciousness tends to uh, exponentially multiply. Uh, towards uh, female names in the, in uh, for other people, but again, as I've already said, that's not how he and I operate, and that's not how Matt and I operate. Um, and yeah. so it just I just wanted to take that take a second and just generally state, not just that you know we will be that we're, we 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 de do intend and endeavor to be respectful. Um, but I felt like it was a that was a thing that should be addressed that I have seen happening a lot online, and yeah. it's not you know just just take a moment to make make sure that anybody watching is aware that this is a thing that ha can happen out there, um, and that that's a bad thing and that's not how it should be done. Like the most but, I ever do, the most I've ever I generally see people do is like, for example, there's one there's one map with a garage and a car, and I might be I might do something like, oh, Karen Thomas, I'm gonna I'm gonna take your car and and little things like that, you know, which is uh, you know, obviously quite different from like you know, straight up viciously that. attacking somebody. Exactly. Um, yeah, it. People keep people can be bad. Um, bad people, people suck. Can be bad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so just be aware. It's a horror game. It's creepy. Uh, there are assholes online, and so on and so forth. Um, as you can see by our levels on screen, <laughs> Matt and I are on completely different levels of play. Yep. <clears throat> um. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a couple of low-level levels, um, and then we're going to swap who's hosting uh, the server, and he will drag me up to some of the higher-level ones, and so that you know players can then get a different, a different, a feel of the difference and things like that. Uh, going into the, I have no idea how to change my. Uh, can you change your character I, uh, Im image on this, or is that just a random thing? Um. I just realized you and I have different ones. Yeah, just push the the change button on the bottom of the screen. Oh, okay. I did not realize I didn't realize that that's what that was for. Makes sense. Yep. 
Yep. We've become Three. the same person. Right. The ghost won't be able to tell us um... apart. It'll be perfect. <laughs> they're, they're, they're alone. It's just two bodies of the same person. Um, you know what? I think I am going to stick with the who I had, though. Because she looks... Uh, she, it looks like a Latina chick, and... Uh, no, that looks more... Actually, no, that... Definitely a chick. Oh, hi, dude. Hola. Am I physically changing in front of you as I push this button? No. Okay, so I'd probably... In order to apply it, I would probably have to uh, exit the menu. Um, oh, no. If, when you change it, once we get in-game, it'll... It'll update? Okay, yeah. so if I just exited this and went back to the actual garage thing and started walking around, then it nope. would not update. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I am gonna keep who I had. I am gonna keep who I had because she looks badass. Um, All right, cool. And um, but yeah, so Mary Spookmas. Uh, before we actually get into this, take a minute if you haven't already, as I usually always say, hydrate a bit. Uh. Ooh, ooh, that was good. Um, I added just the right amount of lemon juice. Whew. Um, there you go. Hydrate a bit. Uh, stretch your back and shoulders and neck. Relax. It's the freaking weekend. Um, just because we're gonna be playing a spooky, a spooky game and it gets tense for us, doesn't mean it has to get tense for you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Just because you know Matt may be pissing himself and. Uh, I'm over here laughing maniacally and hysterically at his at his fear. Uh, does not mean that you guys have to be immersed into the depths of hell that we trudge. So yeah, grab something something nice to drink, some uh, alcohol if you wish. If you're old enough, drink responsibly. Um, water, you know, whatever you want. But I recommend something hydrate hydrating like water. Um, but yeah, stretch your back, your shoulders, your neck, chill out, relax, put some music on, have some Disney going, whatever the hell you want to do. Um, but t but it's the weekend. Take time. Relax. Unwind. If you work tomorrow, that's fine. Still unwind. You deserve some time to yourself. Um, Hashtag treat yourself. Remember to always... Science says, remember to always scare responsibly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mental health matters. Your mental health matters. Um, so, last two things, and then I promise we'll actually get moving. Um, at the... I have Nightbot. Um, I don't know what Matt has going on in his stream, uh, in his channel and stuff, but I have Nightbot. And um, with that, I have uh, certain commands and stuff that, that, that uh, viewers can enter into the chat to be able to... Uh, to learn things essentially like my schedule and things like that well i don't actually think my schedule is one of them i don't remember but i've got things like crisis links and various other important information and stuff like that that you may or may not need um one such example of this is a link to melador's twitch channel um hey. melador 219 um since you're here and he's here um this is who he is this is where uh, this is his channel um, and it's, you know, now in the chat. Um, it's also available, available in my link tree, but I will talk more about that at the end of the stream, as I always do. Um, <clears throat> out of curiosity, Matt, you have Discord set up to go through your stream, right? Through your channel? Um, so people are hearing me, they're not just hearing you respond to me, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure i do um i don't know we'll have i know to that you did out. you did at one point because i remember talking to you while you were streaming subnautica yeah but anyway um anyway all right so uh so nightbot i pr i quickly uh so yeah uh melador's stream um Nightbot. I think that's it. Honestly. Um, so yeah, let me quickly uh, pop over here. Hide this. Um, oh, oh, oh. I've, uh, 
how how are how are all you doing? How is um how how is how is the chat? How is the hive mind? Give us a sign that you are in the chat room and speak to us so that we know you're around and going to be enjoying the spookiness. <clears throat> By the way, Let's... over on my if you're on my Twitch channel, you're seeing some photos from uh, me and some mutual friends of mine during our last ghost hunt. Um, we were at the new prison level that got released not too terribly long ago. It is absolutely terrifying. We were playing the other night, and um, this particular ghost was spawning in the cell blocks. And one of my friends decided to hide in one of the prison cells, and the ghost walked right by him, and it was completely horrifying. So, I yeah. may be having control issues, actually. Uh -oh. Um, if you're, I, sh I should be put able to throw the basketball, and it's not letting me, no matter what I push. And um, I know that if you, if you want to throw it, it's for mine. It's G. To throw ah, things. there it is. There yeah. it is. Um, That'll be important to know once we're in the game. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna quickly actually leave the server lobby real quick because I need to check something with my. Uh, my options, because oh. something's not feeling quite right in, resp in response to mouse movements and the like. Um, and I will say another quick thing. Um, this game, uh, one thing that one problem that a lot of people have in this game is the uh, walking speed. <laughs> a lot of people will point yes. out, it's, it's like, "Hey, I'm being chased by a ghost. Why am I casually walking?" I would be sprinting, which, um, it, you know, it makes sense. If I was in a haunted building and something sung in my ear, I would be sprinting. But that would almost inevitably lead to uh, the need for the creator of this game to also cause the ghost to move really fast, which would uh, cause everyone to pee themselves. So, uh... <laughs> I mean, is... you know... <clears throat> okay. Plus, uh, it also oh, balances oh, the game out a tiny bit, um... With the yeah. difficulty levels, each providing you a certain amount of time to locate the ghost before the ghost can actually start trying to come in and murder people. Um, with Amateur, the first few games that we're going to be doing since um, Jamie's level one, you have five minutes to investigate around the house, find the ghost, and piss it off as much as you want, and it cannot come in and kill you. <clears throat> Once the five minutes are up, all bets are off. Um, that was actually an update that um, he made to the game is that um, the only difference now between the various levels, um, amateur, intermediate, and professional, is how long it takes for the ghost to get violent. It used to be with the amateur ghosts, they were e e much more passive than the professional and what have you. And um, he updated that. So once the five minutes are up, um, depending on the type of ghost it is, especially if it's something super aggressive like a demon or a Yuri, uh, all bets are off. <laughs> New code sent. All right, cool. Science says I will not be assimilated into the hive mind. <laughs> well, science, it looks like right now you are the hive mind, so enjoy the power. Enjoy um, the power. All right, so I sent you the new code to the new server. I decided to I I, I upped my mouse's uh, sensitivity a bit in game, and I also um, bought a uh, what did I buy? I bought some salt. Okay. Because we played a little. We played a a a round last night uh, in prep to while I was setting up OBS and stuff like that. And, um, that, uh, <laughs> do not underestimate my power! <laughs> Don't try it! <laughs> Don't try it, Anakin! Um, but yeah, so I just added some salt, so I'm con contributing exactly one more thing <laughs> than I would have been. Alright, you're okay. in. Characters are chosen. Um, there we go. Okay. 
Um, so this is the this is the 2021 basketball simulator, right? NBA basketball 2021, right? That's what today. That's what this game is, right? Oh yeah, pretty much. Especially if you if you go to the if we um, if we one day go to the prison level. Um, there's a big old basketball court in the back and everything. Cool. Um, yeah, I would. I will say that my one complaint is that the walking speed is so slow. It really feels like you're very weighty, you know, like you're walking on gra in gravity that's like five times your the normal gravity of Earth or some shit like that. Oh, you, um, you know the if you hold down shift, you'll move a little faster. Yeah, but not much. <laughs> you move not by basically. Much. You go right. from you basically like I get it because like you're moving slowly, you're creeping along, you know. But, and if you hold shift, then you're going down, you're in a normal walking pace. Whereas with most games, it's the other way around, where you go slightly faster than a normal walking pace so that you can cover larger maps more quickly. Oof, right off the rim. Um, but you... Uh, come here. Come here. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's under the thing. Anyway. Um, you, uh, you... you you cover ground you cover the big maps more quickly and then you hold shift to be able to sprint even faster you know that's the that's the that's the norm for games but not for this one and we likely won't be seeing any of the larger maps tonight um the the, the maps we'll mostly be doing are some of the townhouses um the farmhouse possibly um i would be fine with some of the larger levels later on um, yeah. just because I know they can get lengthy, especially with there only being two. I mean, if, if a couple of your friends, uh, Matt, you have, you, you minimized your, uh, your light source. Nope. Yes, I did. Hold on. <laughs> Matt suddenly became very, very dark. <laughs> um. Darkness. The, uh. Um. I forget what I was going to say. There you go. There you go. Um, oh, yeah. If, if a couple of your friends do want to join us, they can. Um, yeah. We can pop over to your Discord and set and do that, you know. Um, but anyway, are you ready? I am very ready. Let's go hunt some ghosts. Let's get this right. stream underway. I don't think it'll let me hit ready up until you're on the menu. No, you have to select a contract. Oh, pfft. oh, we mean you. We mean we can't just hit the road. Nope. Carry on my wayward son. No. Um. The ghost will haunt you if you sing that song. Good. All right. No, uh, we're going to the Grafton Farmhouse. Recommended team size, two recommended team items, Thermometer, which I believe you said you threw in. I think I saw yep. it on the list. Um, yep. right. There should be two of all the, two if not three of most of the important stuff. And I've... Right. Sanity pills. Um, there's just a couple of things that I only added one of because I don't think we'll really use them, but... Right. We should be good to go, and even if I die, you can take a picture of me, and um, I have enough money, I can buy most of this back. What I will absolutely be doing is I will abs after you die, I will absolutely be carrying on and completing the job, and then grabbing, like, like I will painstakingly go back and collect every single piece of equipment, regardless of what the ghost does, or doesn't do. Like, I... <laughs> Oh, 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 the last thing I was going to say. Matt is convinced that I will be more scared in this game than I say I will be. Whereas I'm convinced that it won't affect me too much. I mean, I'll react to probably a few jump scares. But generally speaking, ambiance, when it comes to creepy stuff, doesn't affect me very much. It's more just the... It depends on the, the monster itself as well as uh, the jump scares are what get me the most. But, like, even then, it's less a fear response and more of a, oh, shit, there's something in my face now. Um, we shall see. Long story short, I'm dead inside because I'm a millennial. We shall see. 
Anyway, it is... Uh, but yeah, so the Grafton Farmhouse. It's a two-story, four-bedroom farmhouse. The owner called this morning. From what she said, it sounds like a dangerous ghost is haunting the area. Get there as soon as you can, and gather evidence for the ghost removal team. We'll have more intel when you arrive. Okay. And yep. radio. Here we go. The... Alright, and start. <laughs> Once we get into the game, the uh, the British narrator will give us a little bit more information about the farmhouse. By which he means actually not me. <laughs> I, don't, I think. <laughs> Unless you were meaning me. <laughs> nope, I was. There's a guy that will chime in right at the beginning. Talk over the radio, yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That I knew, I just didn't realize he was British. Or I'd forgotten he was British or something. But Yeah, he's got a bit of a British accent. Be careful. Here we go. Alright, we're here. Take a look at the equipment okay. and prepare accordingly before starting the investigation. I've also written some notes on the whiteboard if you need So... Them. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. So if you're on my stream, we got our objectives over here. Um, our first objective, as is per usual with every hunt, is to find out what type of ghost we're dealing with. And for that, you know, that's what all of our equipment is for, to find what kind of ghost it is. Um, we also need a member of our team to witness a ghost event, to find evidence with an EMF reader. I believe I have two of those. Yes, I do. And we also need to capture a photo of dirty water in a sink. The ghost's name is Elizabeth Miller. Um, and she prefers people who... She only responds I to people who are Miller. alone. So that'll be a trip. No, I knew an Emily Miller. Or did I know an Elizabeth Miller? No, I knew an... Not even Miller. I knew a Milner with an N in there. Anyway, not that it matters. Okay, so, um... Yeah. I've, I've done some more investigating for you. Looks like the ghost's name is Elizabeth Miller, as Matt has said. Uh, this ghost also seems to only respond to people who are alone. You should be able to use its name to anger it and get some paranormal activity. Um, make sure to refer to your journal and write down any evidence you find. So, the journal. It comes with a bunch of information. You've got introductions and stuff. Um... It talks to you about your sanity, which is basically your health, kind of. Um, I'll show you the sanity uh, measurement thing here over here on the right in a second. Uh, first type of ghost is a spirit, which has a certain kind of behavior, as you can see on the thing. Um, wraith, phantom, poltergeist, banshee, jinn, mare, demon, your... Oop, sorry, my mouse clicked twice. Uh, your eye and oni are the are the types of ghosts and the revenant and the shade you missed a couple. which i don't have yet i don't think they're not in here oh there they are that was the page i skipped over revenant and shade there they are um and then aside from that um there's ba a basic description of different tools that we can find and use in the house like the smudge sticks or the ouija board and uh, the the j ghost journal um yeah. What EMF level 5 means, what the spirit box is, what the freezing temperatures mean, all of this type of stuff is all stuff. And then it, then it has the photos that you go through, uh, that you take throughout the course of the thing. Um, and then this is how you determine, this last page is how you determine what you found. So the evidence you collect, like say we go in there and we get EMF level 5 somewhere. Um, that will, once we get level 5, not level 4, level 5... Uh, we both put that in our journal as evidence found, and that's one clue. And then, uh, let me remove that. Uh, this d ghost type down here has all the things, and then as you put in EMF level 5, it will then narrow it down to only the ones that re that, that is a clue for. Rinse, wash, repeat with each level. Let's say we got a reaction on the spirit box. Rinse, you know, that brings it down. Uh, those two things bring it down to Jin and Oni. And then there's third. Let's say we get... Um, what's a good third one? Freezing temperatures. Um, nope, nothing, nothing with freezing temperatures. 
ghost writing ghost writing means it's an oni ghost orbs mean that it's a jinn fingerprints mean nothing spirit box means it's well we already have the spirit box in and then emf level five so that's how the game works um and as we as he's already said as we accomplish tasks we will continue onwards all right so first things first we got a map of the building up here which is something i didn't realize before because the streams i'd seen they never really focused on that um and fun fact um th this right here is our bottom floor um, yes. If we put things up like motion sensors, it'll show up on the map. If someone's in the truck, it, you can actually see the person walking around the map. And this okay. little white button over here switches between the floors. Ah, okay. I was wondering how you did that. Um, I wasn't and, sure. Uh, you see this green circle right up here um, mm -hmm. in the upper right corner. That's where the power is. So if the ghost the decides it doesn't want us to... Uh, have any power anymore it'll turn that off and then we can go up there and turn it back on um yep. i will say though that it does tend to go off more off it does tend to turn off more often if we have a whole bunch of lights on in the house so we generally want just a few lights on to keep our sanity up but we don't want to turn on every single light in the house right speaking of sanity below the map is the uh is our sanity meters as you can see mine is currently at 98 and went back up to 100 Matt's was down to 99 and went back up to 100. Um, this is how freaked out we are by shit, basically. You know, sanity. Um, and uh, sanity is affected by your, the ghost showing up, by hauntings happening, but them throwing things at you. Um, it's also affected by how long you're in the dark, um, from what I recall. And basically, um, the lower your sanity is, the more powerful the ghost gets and the more likely it is to enter hunting mode in which it will try to murder somebody. And so basically I will be full on, you know, completely ignoring all health and safety recommendations and going full insane because, you know, that's what I do. Next up, sound sensors. If I remember correctly, that is purely from if you have a specific thing that you've set up correctly correct yes we um okay. there's a sound sensor right here over on the on the table here basically if you put that in one section of the house um it'll light up the, on the board here the white box or the two the two next to it um the white box is the sound okay. sensor all right the, and what's the green black box ones, um the green box is the is the light sensor so when someone passes in front of it it'll emit a really bright light Got it. And then these two black ones are the motion sensors. Um, they just okay. um, they'll flip from red to green when a ghost passes over them. And okay. that's actually one that you can see on the map. Salt. Uh, okay. Which one of these is the strong flashlight? The bottom one right here. Okay. Let me go ahead and grab that. Um, and I would also recommend maybe grabbing an EMF or... Um, I was going to grab a... Well, you've got the thermometer, so I'll take... What do you have? And I'll take the others. My starting is always the flashlight, the thermometer, and the book. Okay, I got salt. Well, I'll, let me put the salt down. I don't think I'm going to need the salt yeah, right now. Yeah, you don't need the salt right now. Um, um, you could go for the spirit box. I'll take the camera. The EMF reader. I'll take the camera, yeah. and I'll take the EMF reader. Yeah, let's um, go for that, because EMF is one of our objectives anyway, so... Exactly. Um, all right, so this is, oh, I sh do I have a, do I have another hand to take a tripod? No, I should have done it. Okay, well, uh, we'll just go for right now and try to locate the ghost. Then we can come back and start grabbing more of our other equipment. Yeah, I'll leave the camera. And so I will then grab, I'll actually, I'm going to grab the thermometer. That way both of us are running around with the thermometer. It doesn't yeah. hurt. Um, so basically, um, and then we can set up traps, or not traps, but the sensors and stuff. Oh, I forgot. Total activity. This is this is what spikes when the ghost is active. As you can see, there's nothing on the thing right now, and that's because we have not left the building. Oh, you have a headlamp. Yep. Does that work instead of the flashlight? No. Like, the, now that I have... Headlamp, the headlamp is basically another camera. So if you look over uh... here on the computer, you can switch a... 
um, this will show the live camera feed and normally it's just these little video cameras that I have over here but if you have a head cam you can actually look through the camera of another person that's what you look like <laughs> yep we'll keep it on um, yeah we'll keep it on the keyboard yeah. switches between um, yeah keyboard switches between infrared yeah. and yeah as, as it says on the screen keep clicking the keyboard toggles night vision Clicking on the mouse swaps the camera. Let's put it uh, back on the house for now, and then we'll turn that on. Uh, you have the key, right? I do. Because I'm not seeing it. Okay. Yep, I got the key. Let us All right. yep. begin. I will come. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Um, if we had another person who was sitting, who was hanging out in here and watching these th these uh, things, they could then uh, give us information and stuff as we play about uh, what we're seeing. Um, or what we're not seeing. Um, so, yeah. Especially on the larger maps, oftentimes it's good to have one person who's just in the truck at all times. That way they can monitor the things. Yeah. Like, oh, we got the objective. Or, oh, there's movement in this room or something like that. And so, as such, there will probably be a, a, a point in time where either Matt and or I will be uh, coming back to the van in order to uh, uh, check things out. Let us begin. All right. It is a 20 degrees Celsius. All right. So uh, it's a nice rustic farmhouse, a little worn down. I see the camera over there um, inside the windows. I've not actually checked out the outside of, a, of one of these uh, before, <clears throat> but anyway. All right, so going in, uh, where, where'd you go? Upstairs first? Um, I'm downstairs. You can head upstairs. Okay. But upstairs right. is a lot smaller. Yeah, all right. Heading upstairs. And we got that 13 degrees C. Going into the, the uh, child's bedroom. Definitely child's bedroom because it's got the... Uh, uh, it's, ooh, that's a, what do we say? That's a World War II picture, maybe? Got a crib and some toys and uh, nice, probably a toy chest. Um, couple of beers. Somebody's been drinking in the kids' room. Uh, <laughs> ah, the third can of beer. Interesting. Auto tuner mag. What was the name of this ghost? I, I said it earlier. I don't remember. I'm not sure. It's I want to say Susan oh, something. Elizabeth, was it Susan I something? Think. Oh right, it was Elizabeth Miller. That's right. Okay, so not noticing anything in the first room upstairs oh. with the temperatures. You got some uh, serious echo going on. Yeah, I was holding down the push to talk on purpose. Sorry. Uh huh. Yeah, it's Elizabeth. Um, but yeah. Um, bathroom upstairs. The upstairs bathroom is pretty, pretty decently warm. Uh, no sign of anything on that. Um, with the th with the thermometer, I just heard a creak, but that was probably my own foot. Uh, phone is a phone. Um, and then into the next Where door. Where are you? What's the sign? Oh. Yes, as we talk in game, we will be hearing you will you will be hearing an echo from one of us uh, from Matt if he talks or me if I'm talk if you're on his stream, and that is purely because we're both talking in game. So you went ooh. Where does that mean you? you got a response? I just hit ten degrees, but where are you? Give us a sign. Hey Lizzie, what's up? All right, there's the breaker. There's the circuit breaker. Big green light. When that's been tripped by the ghost, that'll show up as a red light. Um, wait, does this actually say... No, it doesn't say igloo. It's... <laughs> I love that they... Oh, I love that. <laughs> I think she's downstairs in the dining room. I have six degrees. Yeah, that's most likely. The lowest I've seen up till then was... Oh, up till now was 13. So I'm going to go swap to my EMF. Oop, that's the flashlight. I meant that button and let's turn the flashlight back on there we go setting things up down here yep. and see if we can't get something 
You said the dining room? Uh, I'm, I'm going to walk around the entire place uh, before going into the dining room while you're grabbing things to set up. Uh, that way people get to uh, get a tour a bit. So under the stairs, there's uh, all of this stuff. Um, there was a creek on the steps, and I was not even on the steps. And that's another creek. Ooh, um, we just had a... Oh, we have less... We have almost... We have just over one minute until the ghost will start getting feisty. Okay. All right. Good to know. To I am hearing... That's probably because of the creaks. That's pro That probably is a sign of the, cre the creaking that I'm hearing. Um, oh, she just turned on the lights in this room. You hadn't... Unless I just did that. Did they just go off? No. Okay. Oh, now they did. Holy. Okay. Holy. So, Matt's getting spooked down the other side, so I better get over there. Um, we'll probably we'll probably be in this type of a house uh, pretty often, uh, so I'll do more touring of it, around of it then. You said dining room? Yep. There's a right. camera looking in there, as well as a crucifix on the ground, which should keep us safe if the ghost decides to get feisty. All right, I have the EMF out. Oh, I just got level five EMF. Oh, jeez. Yep. Cool. Okay. Right, yep. Uh, I'm gonna come back out and swap out the uh, EMF reader for and the uh, and the. Uh, I just blanked on what the other thing is called. The thermometer. Where are you? Okay. Put that we back. got we got spirit box. Okay, so we have to leave. Uh, EMF level five spirit box. All right, um, that means that it's either a gin or an oni. Actually, the two examples I gave at the start of the thing. By the way, um, did you already grab a camera? No, I didn't. Okay, grabbing cameras. Uh, if you could grab the tripod. Oh, um, yeah, I, I already got the, um, an actual video camera. Video camera. The video camera? Or the photo camera? Um, okay. the video camera. Okay, did you grab a tripod? Yes, I did. Okay. Then I will... Put the camera on the shelf, please. Please? So we're looking for either... Fuck it. Ghost writing, which I already have a journal in the room, or ghost okay. orbs. Okay. Ghost orbs. All right, I'll check the camera. Uh, you... I see ghost oh, orbs. There it is. We got ghost orbs. In fact, so then that means that it can only be a djinn. And so we're essentially done here. However, I want some pictures of this thing. So let me grab... I'm going to grab both of these cameras. Um, what are things that we can do to gain... To gather, like... Oh, uh, we need to do the dirty water. Uh, we need to witness a ghost event... And the last thing we'll complete on our own. Uh, we, we'll automatically complete. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm going I'm actually to actually. Gonna, I'm actually going to bring an EMF back in with us. That'll if that'll let us. It'll let us know if a ghost is being um, starting to get aggressive. Okay. Okay. And I'll bring in another crucifix and place it by the in the living room there. Um, if the crucifix is in, doesn't that mean that she won't get? She we won't be seeing a ghost. Uh, events? The the crucifix just means that she won't go into a hunt. Like, if I but put it down the in the dining room and she tries to hu start hunting from that room, she can't. But she'll, right. she will still show up and allow us to get a camera picture. She just won't try okay. to murder our races. Okay, good. Alright, you know what? Okay, so you said bring EMF. Uh, well, I got that's not EMF. what I wanted. This you is can what I bring wanted. in a, a camera if you want. I have a camera. Um, I have camera, I have, uh, EMF, I have flashlight, uh... Um, you could bring in some salt if you want, and place it around the ground, that'll allow us to, to track... I think I'm, I'm in full it. up on items. Okay. So, alright, going back in. I will throw the... Oh, she turned the lights on. I may have done that, I don't remember if I... Unless it just happened. No, it it just turned on as we were heading back to the house. Okay. Okay. Alright. EMF5 in here again. And it's All gone. Right. So, 
A, a djinn's ability allows it to travel super, super fast if the power is on. So what I'm going to do is go upstairs and turn the main breaker off. I'll do it. Um, I'll do it. Oh, okay. I will... Unless, actually, no, I'll... Because we know they're in here. So I will be down here. Um... Because right. I want to see the ghost. And I want go that quick. picture. It's... Oh, shit, I don't remember which button it is to... What's the default button to take a picture? Um, I believe it's, um... Right... Is... The right mouse button? It is the right mouse button? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I knew it was either F or the right mouse button. Um, not F. Oh, yeah, yeah, F uh, or the right mouse button. Those are the two action buttons. But I currently have the, the one of them remapped to something else. Um, Power going off in three, two... Bring one. it! Boom. All so right. What it means is that the gen will... Its ability allows it to travel really, really fast if the location's power is on. See it! So, I see it! Nice. Get a good picture? Yeah. Nice. And oh, it's gone. Geez, it's a little kid. That's cool. Poor Lizzie. Poor little Lizzie, all dead. Let us go and check and see what we got in the truck as far as our um, All right, objective. so I've seen a ghost of... I, that should be everything, because I've seen a ghost event, literally. I have a picture of it. Uh, oh, we didn't do the dirty water. Oh, so... So let me go back in and uh, do that. As far as the dirty water goes... that You turn on the thing be... and it just happens. Well, right? Sometimes, a lot of times the ghost will turn it on on its own. Um, the The... The tricky thing about the dirty water is that oftentimes it doesn't happen unless the ghost happens to spawn nearby a sink. Uh huh. So uh, you could maybe check out the kitchen, but odds are it's not going to show up. There, there are some objectives that are a little harder to get than others. Turn, I'm going to turn smudge off her the room. Um. Smudging around the room prevents her from getting entering hunting mode, so this should help keep us a little more safe. There's that. Okay. Um. That's the wrong button. I wanted this button. There we go. It it's already. Yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly, it won't. It what it does is it. From what I've seen, it changes the water that's sitting in the thing, right? Well, it can some the ghost. Like I said, the ghost will sometimes do it on its own, but other times, yeah, if you fill it up, it'll turn the water brown. Okay. Elise, Elizabeth, come do me a favor and do a uh, dirty water thing for me, please. Ooh. I know that th I know that this isn't technically your room, but you know. Would be nice. I'll be your friend. Oh. Do you Little still have, um, Do you still have a couple photos on your camera? I do. Yeah. If you could come this way, I found a couple things for you to take some pictures of. Which way is this way? Um. Follow the flashing light. All right. So in this awesome bedroom over here, the first thing is this little voodoo doll here on the chest take a picture ah of yes we get that voodoo doll and the second i have one thing, picture left got take a picture of the bone ah uh, all right and i'm out of pictures cool that's uh ooh. there we go let, let us hit the road but the dirty oh. water yeah, uh, it's it's not likely to happen, unfortunately, if it hasn't happened okay. right now. Okay. So you have the. Let's see. Well, what we only so just turned it on. The, uh, voodoo doll in here with the little girl. That should be awesome. Oh, that's pleasant. Right. Well, I think that's just about everything. Um. Let us be on our way then. I think. Is there any punishment for not completing all four objectives? There is not. It, okay. 
All that happens is that you don't get the money. Okay. Are you, are uh, you uh, how old, how are, old you? are you? Nothing detected. Yeah. It, like, it prefers being alone, but we got all of our information. We can just head on home. Um, you go on out to the thing. I want to, I want to see something. Go on out to the truck, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I want right. to see something. Let's totally go watch him die on the, on the camera. Hey, Lizzie Liz. How are you doing there, Lizzie Liz? Oh, man, they're... It's out of three. Yep. You mind doing me a favor, Liz? Oh, her, her full name, Elizabeth Miller. That'll get her attention. <laughs> yeah, I already have her attention. She just threw the journal at me. Oh, fun. Yeah. Hey, Liz, can can you please come do me a favor? I, 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 need, I need some uh, dirty water. I'll be your friend. We'll play. Whatever you want. There's a nice doll for you, and, um, you know, whatever. You want to play? Hmm. Activity spiked to a six when she threw the book at you. Hmm. Hey, Liz, do you want to play? Ooh, is that a six again? She just opened or closed the door. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we might be better off um, yeah. calling it for this one. Um, yeah, we'll call it there. I've been, the dirty water is honestly a thing that if it's going to happen, it would have happened by now. And it usually only happens when the ghost spawns nearby a sink. Yeah. I do really want to go back in and grab our shit and bring it in, because I feel like we put it in there. We shouldn't just, like, leave it inside, you know, her her place, you know? It's oh, her her so space. We, we, we'll get it back, though, once we leave. Because once we my leave, sanity took a hit! <laughs> yes, it did. It's like I saw a ghost or something. Of course, we can't really prove that, you know. Who, who, who oh, absolutely prove? not. I totally have three pictures of a creepy-ass ghostly child. Of a djinn, <laughs> nonetheless. All right, All right, let's go. Did you, Do you have it in, in your evidence journal as a djinn? Yep, I had it as soon as we got... Uh, as soon as you hit level five... Ooh, that was loud. Um, as soon as you hit level five and got the spirit box and the ghost... And, I, and we saw the ghost orbs, I put it in, yeah. Because awesome. remember, I said that it was the, I, I said that the whole, it's the same things that I used, uh, the same examples I used. All right, so we got photos, the photo evidence, 20, bone evidence, 10, nothing for insurance because neither of us died, um, nothing for fourth objective, and then objective one, two, and three. And because Ooh. of the difficulty, I only got 60 bucks. Hey, level two. Bum, ba, da, da, ba, ba, ba. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I would have to leave to actually buy something, if I remember correctly. No, you can do it right from the whiteboard. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see the buy button. All right. Um, because you have a lot of things, I don't see myself needing to buy a lot of it. I do know that I that there's a couple of things that I want to get. For myself, I want to get my own thermometer. I want to get a uh, what's a, para a parabolic microphone? Is that the audio sensor you were talking about? The parabolic microphone is the that one really big black circular thing. Um, ah, that was in my, it, like the the satellite dish looking thing. Yeah, it'll okay. It, it's really it's more useful on the bigger maps. That you can, it'll detect sound from a really far way away. Got it. So it can help pinpoint the ghost. Okay, so I bought. What did I buy? I think I bought my. I think I bought a thermometer because that's what I was talking about. Um, cool. And 
Oh, there's the sound sensor. Right, okay. That makes sense. Spirit box. Do I want to... Do I have a spirit box? I don't think I have a spirit box. I have salt. I have thermo a thermometer. Um... Okay, add. Oop, not add. Buy. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and get that. That way I have it. Flashlight. I already have, probably. Um, and... <laughs> There's, there's what I'm looking for. Ah, I need to be level three to get the strong flashlight. Okay. Yep. Um. I already have the thermometer. Okay, I'll just. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I'll leave it there. Okay. All right. Um. All right. I'll let you pick this one. Which uh, our options are, uh, Edgefield Street House. Tanglewood Street, Grafton Farmhouse, which I think is technically the one we were just at, uh, yep. by name, uh, and the Ridgeview, Ridgeview Roadhouse. Let's do the Roadhouse. Roadhouse is a favorite. All right, Roadhouse. going down to, going down to Texas. Sam. A uh, two-story, four-bedroom house with a basement. The owner called this morning. From what she said, it sounds like a dangerous. Excuse me, like a dangerous ghost is haunting the area. This one sounds dangerous, so you'll have to be careful with this one. Gather evidence and leave as much uh, leave as soon as you can. More info when you arrive. All right. Allons-y. All right. Ready up. As I unveil this bunch of chips and enjoy some guacamole. <laughs> hmm. Welcome to all people who are watching currently um, while we load into this match. Um, I hope we're at least semi entertaining. All right. All right. Thermometer. Strong flashlight. And what was the other thing? EMF. Like they left in a hurry. Oh boy. Reports of violence. That's always fun. Alright, oh. so we have to discover what type of ghost we are dealing with. Always. Cle cleanse the area near the ghost using smudge sticks. Capture that a photo of the fun. ghost. Uh, get a ghost to walk through salt. Hey, I brought salt. Um, actually, did I bring Perfect. salt? I know you brought salt. Um, mm -hmm. Alright, so it then says... I've done some more investigating for you. Looks like the ghost's name is Kenneth Smith. Smith? Smith. There we go. That's the one. Smith. Smith. I apologize. I can't speak. Um, this ghost also seems to respond to everyone. Yep. Uh, which means that we don't need to be a part to be able to uh, get spooked. I managed to get a copy of the key. I've left it on the desk for you. So... Which you've already grabbed. Okay. Yep. Uh, you can go ahead and open the door. I'll keep reading this. Uh, you should be able to right. use its name to anger it and get some paranormal activity. Make sure to refer to your journal and write down any evidence you find. Okay. So, uh, Kenneth Smith. Kenneth Smith. Kenny! Good old Kenny! I went to high school with a Kenny. Actually, I went to grade school with a Kenny and high school with a Kenny. Oh my god, he killed Kenny. Oh god. That's what they're not telling us. We're in South Park. <laughs> we're not in Texas. We're actually in Colorado. Nah, we're in South Park, Texas. The spinoff. <laughs> Alright, we got a nice kitchen. Ooh, this is a nice kitchen. I like this kitchen. Ooh. That's a pretty nice little house. They even got the kind of stove I like. I, I prefer the, uh, the, the, the flat tops rather than, like, the, the ones with the burners and stuff. Um, that's a nice... I like this kitchen, though. Like, I really do like this kitchen. It's a nice kitchen. Kenny, you got a nice kitchen, man. Um, what's in here? Ooh, grab, 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 grab and push. Grab. 
Grab and push. I swear to God. Yeah. Some some doors are a pull. Some doors. Oh, are it's push. a pull. That I sh oh that I found the basement. We'll just leave that open. Um. Ah, no, actually, we'll we'll, we'll 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 close the murder basement. Hey, uh, Kenny. That's a push. Okay. Okay. I think I might have found Oops. the room potentially. Okay. Okay. Kenneth Smith, where are you? Well, if you want to do some laundry... Ooh, I just got a key. Um, I just heard Smith. something. Give us a sign. I, I just heard something. Oh, but yeah, if you need to do some here. laundry... If you need to do some laundry, I found the laundry oh, room. He just threw something at me. Holy schmoly. Okay. Yeah, he's right, let me upstairs. turn on... Turn that on. Turn it nope. on. Nope. There we go. Alright, nope. so since we know where he is... Uh, you go ahead and go on out to grab some things. Nope. Oh, he turned off the power. Oh, no. Yeah, no. he did. No, he didn't. Found the garage. Oh, that's the outside light. Okay. Oh, we didn't check the map either. Rip. But I did found the, the circuit breaker. Circuit breaker's in the garage if we need it. It is currently on. Alright, good. Oop. Holy moly, his activity spiked. Wow, okay. That's, uh, that's not a good sign. Well, great content for you guys, not such a good sign for us. Don't mind me, I'm just, I'm, I'm making it my business to turn on every fucking faucet I find. <laughs> oh, they've got a pool, man! Kenny, you have a pool? Ah, oh, you're lucky, and a nice telescope. That's a nice telescope, man. You got a nice place, Kenny. You mind if I move in? For real, though. Okay. All right, you said he was upstairs, not downstairs? Okay. Yep, he's upstairs. Alright, well, I'm gonna go into the basement because I wanna see what that looks like. Let's go check out the murder basement! Alright. Eh, standard basement, not bad, not bad. Not a wet basement, which is good because those can get bad for health. Kenny. Kenny's got a. a. oops, wrong button. A pin. a. a. a what is he called? A cork board, a, 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 a cork board of pictures. Kenny, Kenny, either you're a photographer or you have some interesting hobbies. Nice axe. Uh, we got 40 seconds. How set up are you? Well, I got a camera in the room. I have a crucifix in the room. Um, other than that, I got nothing. Okay, let me turn off these sinks that I turned on. Oh, he closed the door to his room. Oh my god. He does not want you in there, man. Where are you? I heard that. Are, are, I heard that here you? reply. How old are you? Oh, he's old. Okay, so you, what all did you grab already? From Are the, you from a the boy truck? or a girl? Kenneth. Where are I, you? I mean, you can't just ask people their, their gender like that, man. Give us a sign. Oh, I didn't grab a headlamp. Oops. Oh, Jesus. Whew, okay. Uh, what all did you grab already? Um. Oh, my phone's vibrating. Your real phone? No, my in-game phone. Okay. If you want to, you can grab a camera. That'd be good. Video camera or camera camera? No, uh, a, a photo camera. Okay. All right. Um, oh, we need salt too. Unless yeah, you grab salt. salt. Be, yeah, get the salt. Uh, we also, did you grab smudge sticks? No, um, okay. I can grab the smudge sticks though. Okay. 
Okay, so we got right. Spirit Box for sure. Yeah. Oh, true. Spirit Box. Uh, did you get freezing temperatures? I haven't noticed freezing temperatures, no. Okay, but it was just cold. And I haven't seen anything on the EMF, though. I haven't gone up there with the EMF. Have, did you see anything on the EMF? Did you check the EMF? I don't have an EMF. Okay. Um... So if you have a free hand when you come back in with you know, from grabbing the smudge sticks, we should gra you should grab an EMF because I dumped mine to grab to make room for the other stuff. I don't see the EMFs out here. They are uh, they're there. Hold on, he stole them. He pilfered our truck. I'm I'm not seeing them. Uh oh, there's one right here. That's uh oh, there that it is. Yeah, because that's where I put mine down. I didn't... Apparently, we only brought one this whole time, because unless you picked it up... Are you sure you didn't have it? No, I don't have it. Okay. I don't know what happened to it. Cause oh, man. He the... did actually pill for our truck. Well, he is. Oh. This one's very active. Yeah. So, th I because I didn't look at it earlier, here's the layout of the house. We got um, main floor, circuit breaker, and the garage down here. Uh, kit, I was all over the this area back here. They have a really nice house. Here's the upstairs where Matt went. I have not been up there. Which which of these rooms is he in? Is his? Um, he's in this. He's the one in the bottom left, the bedroom. Bottom left. So the interior of the curve. Yep. Okay. And then this is the basement. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Um, I'll bring in the EMF and do you, you have salt. I have salt, I have camera, uh, and you have smudge sticks. Well, I'll, I'll leave the EMF in here for now and get the smudge stick. What other things do you have, though? Um, flashlight. <laughs> but we can carry three things. Flashlight, salt, and camera. What's your yeah. third? Um, flashlight, smudge stick, and a lighter to... Light the stick. Oh, because you need the... Right, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Now. Alright. We're going to want to be careful. This guy is much more feisty than our last ghost. Eh. Yeah, be For the real, though, this is a... For real, Kenny, you got a nice house, man. I promise I'll be your friend. We come in peace, Kenny. Don't murder us. Are there any sinks or anything yet? No, well, we don't need the... Oh, did you just turn off the light? Yeah, I did. Alright, so I smudged the room. I'm going oh, to... there's a bone! Yeah, take a picture of it. Okay, let me put the salt first yeah. It'll... <laughs> that's not the button for it <laughs> there you go Kenny figure it out <laughs> just throws the thing on the floor it's the F button okay well I was doing that it's not doing it um, you can hand it to me I can do it oh there we go there okay. we go cool all, all right. right to get the I'll bone yeah, take a picture of it and then pick it up. Okay. Do you have to have an empty slot to pick it up? Yeah. Okay, so then... Once you've used um, the salt thing three times, it's empty, so you can just throw that on the floor. And then you can pick up the bone, and then you can pick the salt back up. Pick up the bone, please! Alright, we got the smudge stick objective. Perfect. There we go, not, finally. I'm not seeing any temperatures. Did we get sphere box? Is that one of the things we got? Yeah, we got sphere box. Okay. Yeah, that's the only one we have so far. Okay, there was no low temperatures. There was... Uh... Can I, now that I picked can... up the bone, can I pick up something else too? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay. Alright, I'm coming back in with the... EMF. Oh, 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 hold on. Uh, temperature's down to 3 degrees Celsius. That's not below... That's... Yeah, it'll be below zero for the... Found him! Yeah, you got a picture of him? 
Got two. Nice. EMF Is level it five? five, and he wrote in the book. All right. So that's EMF level five and ghost writing. That gives us an Oni. We have not gotten him to walk through the salt, though. Um, let me drop that. Yeah, uh, he he was standing right here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Use that up. Okay. Uh, there let's. Are. Where, are, Where you? are you? Oh, you can take oh, a can picture take of the a picture book too. That counts as more evidence. More evidence. Okay. Oh. Oh. Holy, Holy mother of mother. Okay. okay. You're you're coming through. You're coming through. By the way. Holy, holy balls. Okay. <laughs> and we got him to walk through the salt. Did you hear that? I heard it. I heard your heart stop too. You freaking shouted it in my ear. Holy balls. Yeah, we got all the objectives, man. We're good to go. Yep. Cool. Science says, remember they said quickly, hey, look at that pool. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's like I'm easily distracted. Um, and no, just a jumper. I'm sorry, Science. You're going to have to tell me what that was in response to. Okay. It makes sense that it's an Oni, because as soon as we were both in the room, it got really active. Right. All right. And double checking I have it in the thing. I do. All right. Oh, we do. We are good to Alrighty. go. All righty. Pushing the button. Success number two. Booyah. Not a photog... All the photo photographs, not a photography buff, just a jumper. <laughs> Yep, it was a Noni, 75 bucks. Woo! Yep. Alright, so... We got all four objectives. I like that. I like seeing that. We like to see it. I think I feel like one of us needs to purposefully get murdered so that we can get the insurance. The insurance just covers the cost of the items you brought with you, to my knowledge. Well, so still, just though... How about we we don't purposely antagonize the ghost? Yeah, um, okay, fine. And I am now level three. Boom. I, I now have medium-sized maps unlocked as well as strong flashlight. So let me buy one of those because that's a good thing to have. Um, where is it? I saw it. There it is. Uh, let's see here. I have an EMF reader. Apparently I don't have a normal flashlight. I'm going to go ahead and buy one of those. Buy that. Buy that. Buy that. I am now just currently going through the list and buying anything I can afford. Because <laughs> why not? Why not? Okay. Um, all right. So I'm going to add to the list anything that will let me add. It's, a, it's nice to have all the stuff. Yeah. Especially when you're on higher level difficulties and the ghost is more likely to try to murder your face. Ooh, science Science has a plan. What's that? Let Crimson die and collect the insurance. Huh. I'm, I'm fine with that. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I think we should do one more job of, on my levels and then swap to you being in charge. What do you think? You can do that if you want. Okay. All right. Our options are the Bleasdale Farmhouse, Tanglewood Street, Brownstone High School, uh, farm, which I believe is a medium map. Um, yeah, the, the Grafton Farmhouse. Much bigger. Yeah. Like, the size difference between small maps and medium maps is big, if I remember correctly. Yep. Um, Brownstone High School. <coughs> Excuse me. Grafton Farmhouse. <coughs> and rid the Ridgeview Roadhouse. All right, so we've had a farmhouse, a roadhouse. Let's do Tanglewood Street. I think that's... Cool.
because remember correctly, there's three basic small maps, right? The three different types of houses: the farmhouse, the roadhouse, and the townhouse, right? Mm. I, I I mean I don't think the townhouse is called townhouse, but there it's there's that other three houses that are in like the suburban like um like suburban area, and then there's two farmhouses. Okay. Okay. So there's categories, and then there's subcategory sub sub maps. Got it. Yep. Okay. Um, well then in that case, there's much more variation than I thought there was, so then I'll let you pick out of the ones I listed. We got the Bleasdale Farmhouse, the Grafton Farmhouse down in Texas, the Tanglewood Street up in, um, that's that's probably Pennsylvania. All right, we're going up to Pennsylvania. Going up to Pennsylvania. All right, it's a small three-bedroom, single-floor house with a basement. The owner called this morning from what she said. Sounds like a dangerous ghost is haunting the area. This one sounds dangerous, so you'll have to be more careful with this one. Gather evidence and leave as soon as you can. All right. All right. Nothing gets my blood pumping like aggressive ghosts. <laughs> and by blood pumping, I mean pissing myself, but hey. By blood, he means urine. Yes. No no pissing bl um, blood. That would be r really, really od. Uh, have you read it up? Yep. I like to make stacks with the with the bottles of spray paint. I my goal is to get to ninety nine on the basketball score on the basketball score someday. <laughs> All right, so first things first, let's look at the map. All right, we got... Oh. Okay. Lots of the white switching. Okay. Our ghost's right. name is Charles Williams. He responds to everyone. We need a photo. We need to prevent him from hunting with a crucifix. Oh, boy. And Which you do anyway. Okay. okay, so salt. I'll grab the salt and the cr and you grab the crucifix. Um, I'll grab the and you grab a thermometer. I'll grab the EMF. Sure. And well, strong we flashlight. Need, we are, this is amateur, so we don't need the um, the crucifix right away. I'll just grab. Well, a, I'll just grab. Well, I was saying that way we could find the room and then immediately plunk it down get prepped yeah. um and the last thing we need is the picture which i will come back and grab later all right oh head all head set. camera um oh we didn't look through the, the thing all right so this is the house we got stairs we got that's probably a garage down here in the bottom yeah, we've got garage. uh first floor has several possible bedrooms maybe a kitchen second floor up, uh, that's the basement, most likely. Yeah, this is the smallest map. Yeah, this is the one that was the the training level one. <clears throat> huh. That's, <laughs> uh, interesting. Either that's a graphical glitch or the ghost has some skills, man. No, no, head cannon. The ghost came out to greet us. Carrying the bu carrying the carrying a drawer. So that way we knew we were the, it, it was there. Hey man, how you doing? It was Charles something, right? Hey Charles, how you doing? I'm coming in, Charles. Don't worry about it. All right, so you're checking you're checking there. I'll check. I'll get I'll go I'm going straight to the murder basement. Go for it. Yo Charles, I'm coming to the murder basement. Charles, where are you? Charlie. Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Good old Charlie. Sam. Sam. Um, have you had any uh, any signs so far? Nothing in the basement. The lowest I had was twelve, but nothing past okay. that. I'll walk through with the EMF. Charlie. That's a door. Oh, I found a bone. 
Okay, okay. And I think we were running water, was that you? I just I just turned the water on, yeah. Oh, okay. They said there was lots of light switching. Um, hey Charles, where are you? I wonder how frustrated Charlie would get if we... Oh, EMF! I got a two in uh, the baby's room. And then it oh, vanished. Lord. Yep, I think this is Charles. Charles. Yeah, I have a nine. He's in here. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to throw down some salt. Yeah, put some right at the entrance. <laughs> Don't mind me. It's yeah, uh, that button. There yep. we go. And then just sprinkle it around the room. Uh, I got some three time. here. Yeah. I got some there. And... Um, <clears throat> middle of the room. Okay. Alright. All right. Uh, that's the button I'm looking for. I don't want to throw the flashlight down. That I want to throw down. Okay. EMF four. Nice. Five. EMF five. Oh boy. Putting it in the journal. If that teddy bear moves off that shelf, I may piss myself. <laughs> All right. So let me go get the camera. I put through down a crucifix. Yeah. Charlie, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Oh, he spiked up to a 10. Oh, boy. Ooh, yeah, he did. And he's already Oof. walked through the salt. Okay. Um, you could say it was a case of a salt battery. I approve. Uh, let's see here. What else do we need? Um... Camera. Did you did you already take a picture of the bone or not yet? Where was the bone? Um, it was in the laundry room. Okay, Where I'll go do that. You? Oh, the lights are on. Prevent Where are you? From hunting with a crucifix, capture photo of the ghost. Okay. How old are you? I'm gonna grab a spirit box too because I haven't used that thing yet. Do you want? Do you want us to leave? Proceeds to throw the fucking camera on uh, the camera on the ground. All right, so it was in the laundry room. I think I remember where yep. that is. That's this way. Yeah, probably the garage. Um, yep. He wrote. In, he wrote in the book, by the way. Okay. And so that goes in he the ghost us, writing. Um, uh, some drawings of the occult, so that's fun. And um, take a picture of the salt in the middle of the room. That's where he walked through. Okay. If it'll let me pick up... Oh, I'm not empty. Right. Uh, um, we also have confirmed ghost orbs. Okay. So then that means... That he is a shade. A shade or a Yuri? Oh, no. with No, it's shade. Because EMF level 5, ghost writing, and ghost orb. Oh, that's right. EMF level 5. Nice. Okay. There we go. So sh okay. shades are terribly shy. Um, yes. However, this one says it will respond to everybody. Okay. I'm going to grab the other crucifix just in case. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. At this point, we can try to draw it out. Char Oops. Charlie, Charlie, won't you come won't out you and come play, play, Charlie? Ugh, oh, the children's room. Why did it have to be the children's room? That moment when it appears in the cradle. Nope, I I will I will scream like a little girl. You can leave me in here to get the picture. Oh, that was... How in... Oop, I'm glitching through curtains. Okay. Uh, how amazing would it be if they just if it just showed up like actually interacting with the environment like a like actually showed up riding that rocking horse right there oh uh did i take a picture of the 
I would... Okay, I have the bone, the salt. I did not take a picture of the journal. All right, okay. cool. I have one picture left, and that's guaranteed. Hey, Charlie! Hey, Charlie, where you at, man? Or lady? Yeah, I... No, it was Charles. He's not going to respond to that. True. Let me run it outside. Charlie, where are you, Charlie? Come out. I'm and actually going to Charlie. While I'm out here, I'm going to grab one of the other cameras with a full with her full roll. Um Charlie, where are you? It's time to get up and go to school. I mean, it could Okay, the last name he is threw his teddy bear at me. Okay. Williams. Charles Williams. Charles Williams, where are you? He still hasn't gone hunting because we have not prevented the hunt uh, a hunt with the crucifix yet. Okay, I was staring at a ball in the middle of the room and it just disappeared. How's your sanity doing? <laughs> You're good on sanity. That is, that is so spooky. Charles, where are you? He threw the teddy bear at me again. Charles, I want a picture. Charles, it's photo day. So does it actually react to you saying... Yes, it does. Um, this game interacts with... Uh... Oh my god! Did you get him? Oh, yeah, I got him. Holy crap, he... Oh. <laughs> Did he appear in the cradle? No, he's a he's a dude. He appeared right beside the cradle with an axe. Ah! Fun. Hey, Charles Williams. Charles Williams, please attend. Please. Because I want to see this too, because I want to spook the hell out of people. But yeah, I was to answer science, um... It does actually react to saying the name in the microphone. Uh, there's a push to talk feature where anything you say through the game will be react to, reacted to or heard by the, um, by the ghost. The um, he also walked through the other pile of salt. Um, the uh, it it work it uses Windows voice recognition. Um, Oh, I was a little late on that because I wasn't on the camera, but he was in here for a millisecond. Whew. I think he appeared, like, right in front of me. Have we gotten the hunting thing yet? I don't think so, right? I'm going to go check. Yeah, I'm going to hang out in here until until the hunting. I'm, in fact, I'm just going to straight up close the door. All right, Char yep. All right Charles, yep. just you and me. He got it. He stopped. We stopped him from hunting. Get out of there, man. Okay. Tell everybody I'm on my way. And that's we all the song of that I can sing. Without getting a copyright strike and getting sued by Disney. Oh. Dude. Check out my, um, check out that for my, my photo of him by the crib. Oh, that gave me a freaking heart attack. I don't see it. Hmm. I think it's should... overriding it with all of mine. You should interaction, be to... footstep, photos. Yeah, I'm going through all the different pages. Huh. I see two by the crib. I don't see either with him. I think both of them are ones I took. There's one that's got a picture of the whole room. And right by, in between the rocking horse and the light switch, he's right there. At least on mine. Yeah, I don't see him at all. Hmm. <clears throat> oh well. It does that sometimes. Someone will get a really good picture of the ghost and he'll show up for them. But he won't well, show up for anybody else. 
It's absolutely because I um it's absolutely because I used more than five pictures because I brought I used two cameras. Gotcha. All right, um, so you have your thing filled out? Yes, I do. Do you? Yes. Off we go. Victory is ours. Victory is mine! Victory is mine! Great day in the morning! Victory is mine! Alright. Okay, and so we'll swap over to you being in the one, the host, uh, to get some higher level jobs. We'll, we'll see. If most of mine are like the... You sure you want to do a giant map? I mean, the bigger I, ones? I mean, yeah, I'm in. I'm down to. I'm down for whatever. All right, they are harder with just two people. That's yeah, for sure. and it's mostly because of how big they are. I would think. All right. Just because of how much floor space you have to cover and check. Um. All right. So I've got eighty-five dollars now. All right. Facebook me the code. All right. And until you do that, I'm going to be buying stuff. Oh, UV light. UV light's probably more important than a candle. Crucifix. <clears throat> Poof. Smudge sticks. All right, and so play, join private game. Uh, hold on a second. Let me let me move that just in case. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's actually. It's actually very considerate and very smart. I don't need the bar of privacy. Yeah, that is pretty nice. So I will actually just make it go away. Um, okay. Uh, hold on, let me add anything that it'll let me add from my list. Okay. <clears throat> I have contributed. Cool. Now let's go take on this level 77 monster. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be the other farmhouse. This one is bigger than the than the other one. This one's three stories with an attic. So Okay. Okay. Um Do you mind reading out the thing that it says for it or did you already close the window? Um No, I can look at it. Um Two-story, three-bedroom farmhouse with an attic. We have recently received information about a possible ha haunting. You'll be sent there in to gather as much evidence as possible so a ghost removal team can deal with it afterwards. More info when you arrive. All right. Sounds good. Readying up. All right. And here we go. Huh. Howie says that our uh, voices aren't coming through. On yours, maybe. Uh, you might need to... Oh, it's because you didn't enter the Discord audio. Probably. Oh, oh well. Yeah, you probably have it set up to for your, your stream to go through the camera audio. So while this is coming in and all of that, go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and uh Be careful, you're going in blind. Be careful, you're going in blind. Oh fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, science says science has been interacting with me, so I know that they're come that he's that they're here that he's hearing mine that the audios are coming through on mine. Um so it's definitely the fact that you did not set up the is something I could do from now or is that something I Oh absolutely. Later? You can do it now. Um you just add the however you just add the same way you would add like the audio for the game. Uh, you go in and you add like an audio, uh, audio source and and point it to Discord, or to whatever 
Uh, actually, hold on. How did? Hold on. Let me let me check to see what I did uh, for the Discord. I think I have. I'm guessing uh, it's advanced audio settings with the mixer. It's uh, when you where you would add a source for your uh, for in OBS. Um, there should be something that says audio input capture or audio output capture or something akin to that. Um, audio output capture. Yep. Yep. So you click that, you point it to discord and, uh, it will then input any audio from your discord. I, okay. uh, this is my bad. Cause I assumed that you had it set up where, uh, it would take that in, where it would, um, take that into account. Uh, because I assumed, because you'd been streaming Phasmophobia before I saw, and I thought that you were bringing in, that it would bring in uh, your friend voices from Discord. Okay. Um... Okay, so you may, they may, may now be hearing me on your stream. Um, in fact, let me actually pull up your stream. Uh, you may still need to add your own microphone back. Um... So... I once I've added the source. Yes. Should it show up under sources? It uh, should show up under sources. Uh, you can name it Discord or whatever. Uh, it should also be showing up in the audio mixer in its own thing. No, it's not. Okay. <clears throat> let me let me try to add it again. Um, audio output capture. Um, that's weird. That's uh, Howie just messaged on, uh, oh wait, uh, Howie, are you talking on my stream that I'm coming through and then Matt's volume output is chronically low? Yeah. Cause he just hopped up. Um. So then maybe I need to up the Discord volume a bit on my side. Hey, Matt, say something. Hello. What's okay. going on? Hey, Howie. Yeah, I think what it was is what you were hearing is the in-game volume from when we were holding down the push-to-talk buttons. Um... The unfortunate thing means that you guys missed all of anybody watching your stream missed all of our dialogue. <laughs> okay, so you need to what you need to do is you need to add in a audio. Uh, is it input? Yes, audio input for your own microphone. Yeah. <clears throat> well, now I got audio output that I don't know how to get rid of. That's fun. You, uh, you were hearing our discussion. Then I don't understand. And... Hold on. Turn that on real quick so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. I no, the 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 ambiance of the spookiness has been shattered. Okay. Right. Audio you input. have both of our streams on, and you you were not hearing us on his. Right. I'm talking his stream. His stream has his volume low, like at 30% of mine. Well, I'm also very loud, trying not well, to be very loud. Once again, my, my mic is turned up to max, so I don't know. Uh, in, in, in OBS as well? Yes. Um, and Through Windows and in OBS? Yeah. Because both affect... Hmm. I, so I added the audio input capture, but it didn't give me an option to do the whole um, Discord thing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, you don't need to worry about input for your for. Uh, you don't need to worry about Discord for your input, right? Uh, you just need to worry about. Um, you you tell it to. Uh, no, he doesn't use voice meter. I don't think. Um, you tell it to put in your microphone, specifically. 
so like uh, if your headset has a microphone, you put it to you point it to that. If you're using your camera microphone, you point it to that. Okay, so audio input and Yeti stereo microphone. Okay. Okay. Uh, then you adjust your volume. You want to make sure that the top of the uh, gain of the microphone is in the yellow-ish range. Yeah, my audio input is maxed. I cannot increase it anymore. Okay. Um... So if... Because whenever... It, it's weird when this happens because I can always hear... I'll play back my videos and I, I can always hear them fine. It's always Howie that can never hear me. <laughs> it's he says it's not his mic um, because my voice on his oh my voice is low on your stream too. Uh, so for whatever reason OBS uh, slash Streamlabs is sending really low audio volume to Twitch. Unless Howie just has you turned down really 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 low. <laughs> I mean I can turn my speakers up but. Then I'm I don't think dip. that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think that affects. Um, I don't think you turning up your speakers would affect it any. Um. Well, I just... yeah, I think that's that's a thing that we'll need to need to sort outside of stream. As long as there is actual audio coming through his stream, because that's the important bit. Yeah, because whenever I listen to my videos, I can always hear myself just fine. All right. I'm yeah. just not going to worry about it. Okay. So, anyway. All right. Okay. So... Strong flashlight, head lamp, or head head camera, uh, EMF. All right, so this ghost is intermediate. We only have two minutes before it starts trying to murder us. Okay. It's Michael Williams, responds to everyone, walk through salt, smudge sticks, and dirty water. I managed to get a copy of the key. I've left it on the desk for you. Which I already grabbed. All right. Now... I think he says that as a you can get your ass moving now thing. Uh, yep. Okay, so we have to discover what type of ghost we are dealing with. Get a ghost to walk through salt. Cleanse the area near the ghost using smudge sticks and dirty water. Okay, so we'll need to turn on any sinks we see. Uh, we'll need yep. to um, come back for salt and smudge sticks um, and camera. Um, all right. Uh, thermometer. Let's allons-y. Oh, looking at the layout of the building. So staircase in the center, uh, big open floor plan of the main floor, and circular floor plan of the second floor and third floor is wow okay all right moving on all righty oh they have a, they have an rv this is kind of like a um like a camping lodge type of a place from like a uh and you at like got a, an axe that's okay. cool the other one did too in the basement we have a nice little uh home office in here that's cool I'm already here clicking that's well fun. I found the outside door in the back got an old-fashioned hey Michael oh there's the back door cool that'll be good to know if I need to escape. I love that you're basically just following me around in a circle there's two back doors Oh, that means we're going to find the, uh... Oh, I got eight degrees in the dining room. Of course it's the dining room. Turning on sinks. You're yeah, going to hear some running water, because I'm just going to leave it on. Okay. Actually, I better not just leave it on. <clears throat> I'm going to head on out. Right. Swapping the EMF. Now, since this is intermediate, um, we're much more likely to ha get an actual hunt. Uh -huh. um, there's... Yeah, which we, we've avoided before, partly because of the uh, 
the uh, what's it called? The uh, crucifixes and stuff. Yeah. The two most important things, um, and basically you can do one of two things. You can either run to a room and hide, or you can um, basically try to outrun the ghost. Um, on these smaller maps, I would genuinely not recommend um, the ladder uh, and just trying to outrun it, <laughs> unless you right. can get it in a loop. Um, kitchen, uh, that, that uh, kitchen... Uh sink has been on or is on i mean or not on but full that's the one i'm looking for that's the word i'm looking for okay nice front room i am gonna go upstairs and throw on some sinks okay you said one of the floors was one of the spots was the no it's a third floor actual third floor okay uh yeah, bathroom. Nick, that's where the power is if he decides to shut it off Okay. Or alternatively, where I could go to shut off the to shut off the power. Yep. Mm -hmm. Laundry rooms I'm upstairs. Huh. Yep. Why would that I'll be on the second in floor? The salt and the spirit box. Bedroom. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes these people make some questionable life choices. I mean, that's fair. I've done. Some, seeing some houses of my on my own, you know. Yeah. He hasn't wrote, written in the book yet, but I definitely okay. hear him moving around. You might be hearing me. Oh, I forgot about the spear box. Shoot. Okay. Where are, Where are you? Going up to the third floor. Second How old break. are it's you? Pretty open floor. All right. There's not much upstairs. Up to the third floor, so I'm going back down. Do you want us to leave? Okay. Oh, I got freezing temperatures. Okay. Um, when I get down there, I will put that in my journal. I'm going to try to bring in the other thing of salt and spread it around more, increase our odds of him stepping in it. Right. Okay, freezing temperatures. There's no... Uh, um... he has. What? He has. Oh, and he I'm wrote seeing the my book? breath. No, he's salt. Oh, he stepped in the salt? Oh, yeah. nice, cool. And I'm seeing my breath. Very nice. Uh, I'm coming back for cameras. All right. Let me look around. I left the EMF reader on the table. Um, let me let me quickly put in. Uh, I got a pretty picturesque view of, view of his dining room. But I'm not seeing any ghost orbs. All right, so we've seen freezing temperatures. That was the only evidence we've seen, right? Yep. Okay. Coming in for a photography camera. Uh, did you do anything with... Hold on. What are our other objectives? Uh, I haven't gotten the smudge stick yet. sticks. I'll go ahead. Uh, I'll, I need the lighter for that. Um, yeah. I, I can do that. Um, you can bring in the fingerprint finder and look around yep. for fingerprints. Okay. <clears throat> Best bets are usually the windows, Door the doors, doors and or the light switches. The light. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, do we have anything else we haven't covered as a potentiality? Um, spirit box? We got, the, we got the book in there. There's a spirit box in there. Um, I left my EMF reader on the table in there. On. All right. Cool. So if that spikes, we'll hear it. Cool. Um, okay. All right, time to smudge it up. Hopefully this works. I don't think we'll be seeing EMF five though. If we see any EF EMF at all. Nothing on the door knobs, at least on the ones that, on the, whatchamacallits. Um, 
Alrighty. No sign of dirty water in the sink yet. I'm heading back out to the truck to check on our the sludge stick, and I will grab another camera. Nothing on the light switch, at least the one light switch I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm not seeing any uh, fingerprints yet. Oh! Uh, EMF is going off. And he turned, he tripped the power breaker. Hmm. I'll, when I come back in, I'll head straight up there. EMF if 5. He, uh, EMF 5? Mm hmm. Alright. It could, it's either a phantom or a banshee. Okay. Okay, let me check. So, with a phantom. Phantom will want ghost orbs, and a banshee will want fingerprints. Okay. Well, I'll keep the fingerprint thing going around. All right. It'll show up even if if I have the strong flashlight going, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna throw the other crucifix down in the kitchen, just in case he spawns in there, and then I'll go upstairs and turn the power back on. Okay, I got a picture of the salt. Uh, while I'm doing this, you mind running around, um, while I'm being bait, you mind running around and checking for, uh, checking any of the other sinks? Or will he only ever show up in the one room that we, that he's in? Um, uh, the door's just locked. Uh, I think he's about to enter a hunt. No, the, the, no, it's good. You sure? Yeah. If, if you were going to enter a hunt, we'd be flashing, and the front door is still open. Ah, uh, right, right, right. I just heard a... Oh, 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 we got handprints. Nice. Um, and can you come take... Can you come take a picture of this, or do you need to have the thing... Do it... Uh... Um, yeah, one second. Um... Hey, I'm generic. Thanks for the good luck. Don't be too scared, man. I understand. Alright, where are we looking? Right in front of me. Oh, cool. You see it? Yep, got it. Okay. EMF again. Alright, so I got a picture of that. You got a picture of the handprints. Um, I'm camera. going to go upstairs and turn the power back on. What other evident photos of evidence do we need? Uh, while you're looking, look for a bone. Because I didn't... Yeah. I didn't look for a bone. So far, no okay. water. If you see a, um... Hey, Charlie. Wait, what was the name of this ghost? Was it Charlie? I don't know. Found a voodoo doll. Okay. In the baby's room. That's fun. Yeah, if you go back out to the van... Nah, I'm up in the attic now. Okay, I'll go out to the van. I'll go out to the van. Because I, I want to dump... I want to drop off the fingerprint thing. So All it's... Right. I'm trying to think of all the different evidence that we can take pictures of. Uh, they, um, pi that give us money. Pictures of the ghost. Pictures of footprints. Pictures of handprints. Bones. Voodoo dolls. Voodoo dolls. Uh, it wrote in the book. Um, if the wrote EMF the is going off. Um, okay. Like oh, that. it'll take a picture of, if you take a picture of the EMF? Okay. Yep. It has to be while okay. it's going off, though. Alright, so EMF um, and fingerprints. And Banshee. Okay, so let me drop okay. that off. So, banshees okay. are, I think they're the ones that are really afraid of crucifix. Yep. Um, the banshee okay. will only target one person at a time, meaning it'll have its target okay. and it'll only go after that. And, um, right. if hey, crucifix, uh, come hang um, out, come hang out in the truck for a second. I need to run to the bathroom. So let me, uh, let me do that real quick. All right. And so come hang out in the, in the van for a bit so nothing happens neither of us get murdered brb
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. Cool. So okay, we so... we actually stopped a haunt. Um, I placed one of the crucifixes so we could see it with our camera here, and it's no longer there. So okay, it so has we'll already bring... tried to murder one of us. Probably me, because I was the one hanging out in there the whole time. I did I did hear a heartbeat for like a millisecond. Cool. Also, if you remember, I did say I heard a door latch, like a door lock go. So maybe yeah. that was it, too. Did you grab the second crucifix, or did you only have the one crucifix? I brought them both in. I put one in the okay. kitchen, one in the dining room. Okay, then we'll probably want to move the one from the dining room into the kitchen. Yeah. Um, what, what else do we have? We got all the objectives, except dirty water, which... Right, is which we have to capture a picture of. Um, which is okay. already super finicky. Right. Okay. I'm going... Uh, actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab the other camera. Because I'm going to go for as many pictures as I can. Alright. I'm going to be published in the in Ghosts Weekly. Ghost Hunter Weekly. Yeah, go oh, yeah. go grab the go grab the crucifix from the. By the way, if your flashlight starts doing this. Yeah, it starts run. blinking. That's yeah, that's the hunt. Yeah. All right. Oh, I forgot to look at the ghost name again. Let me go do that. God damn it! I knew I was forgetting something else when I was out there. Um, it's Michael something. Right, that is oh. this level. Okay. Fuck oh, me. door just locked fuck behind me. Run! Fuck, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. I think the ghost wants to. Come here, Matt. Melador. Did you not put on a uh, head camera? Whew, okay. The focus. I am... The intense focus. I am getting the fuck out of this house. My turn! Oh. I don't Go think he ever came. I don't think he ever Go came upstairs, in thankfully. Go chill in the van for a second. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go in. I wanna oh, go in alone. Your sanity is super low, dude. It'll probably come out. I'm okay with that. Alright. I moved the, um... Oh, it's spiking again. Yeah, yeah, he just shot a door in my face. But the, luckily the light's not flashing yet, so... Hey, Michael! Come say hi, man. Hey, there we go. Michael Williams. Yeah, 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 get out of there, man. Run. He's right behind me. Nope, I think I just died. Yep. Oh boy. I just got my neck snap. But I was in a completely pitch dark room, so nobody saw anything. Nobody, like, okay, so how the deaths work is, um, if, you know, they will chase you down, and if they catch you, they'll put their hand, science says, get the insurance! Um, yeah. he'll put <laughs> his hands around the side of your head and, uh, basically snap your neck. And then you wake up as a ghost. All right, where did you die? Uh, in the machine room. Oh, the laundry machine? Uh, no, 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 no. First floor, first floor. I ran the wrong direction. I was trying to get to the, um... 
I was trying to get to the exit, and not the exit, the, um, I was trying to make a circuit, because where he appeared was in the kitchen door, the kitchen, uh, the kitchen, uh, door between me and the, fr and the stairs. Oh, okay. Um, and so I was trying to get, I, I'd forgotten that there was not a complete circuit of the first floor. So I was trying to come out, I was trying to basically kite him around. But I'm on the far, basically, if you go through the kitchen and go all the way, follow all the way around, if you go to a machine room. Yep, I so. got you. All right. Uh, we probably should not hang around to try to get uh, pictures of the EMF and the dirty water. Oh, that's what I should have done, is I should have led him over to the dirty water. I should have led him over to dirty the water. Oh, well. Oh, well. Alright, so you, you got the picture of my body? Yes, I did. Do you have to actually physically collect the... the... merch? Hmm. That's really... Okay, so it... For whatever reason, it didn't register that I got a photo of you. That's dumb. Huh. Um... I'm not sure... C can you check your journal if you're dead? Yes. Alright. Um, uh, I see a picture of my body. It should have dead body written over it if it registered. It does not say dead body, but it does say it does have a picture of my body. All right. I'm going to try and take a couple more pictures of you, see if any of them register. Okay. This um, way you also, get your money back. Um, do, you have to, do you have to actually, can you actually collect the items and bring them in like if you did physically bring the item is, items in into the van would they then count as not being lost I can try okay I will ghostly right. haunt you did you um while eating popcorn nope that one still didn't count what the hell Maybe it doesn't all the time. Maybe. I don't know. Actually. Maybe it's because of where I my body is wedged. <laughs> it could also be because all of your items were that you carried with you were right by the door, but your mm -hmm. body's on the other side of the room. Oh, try taking a picture of where the items were. Yeah. Because... Okay. That would be the in the difference between your um uh, between servers probably not servers but um ping and stuff. Nope. Well, that's dumb. Uh, I'm not gonna bother trying to take more pictures. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Get you back. We have, the game. we have, we have a couple of. Uh, let me go check on the water. Out of curiosity, out of morbid curiosity, before you hit that trigger button. All right. Let me go check on the water. Nope, clean. All right. All right. Um, I got Banshee written down. You have it written down. I believe so. All right. Um, Heading. Yep. Heading out and all three, three evidences. Go ahead. Frank. Damn you, Michael! You killed my friend. I mean, I was literally standing there saying, "Kill me, kill me, Michael, kill me." Well, he gave you your wish. Yep. All right. Cool. Okay. Let me buy back. Let's see here. EMF reader. Flashlight. Photo camera. Okay. Going past the lighter and the candle. Did it show anything um, for insurance when you got back? It did. It said like $67. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Yeah. That's what I was hoping for. Crucifix. Okay. Yeah, that one crucifix I threw down despawned, so we had already prevented a couple of hunts already. Yeah. 
All right, ready when you are. Note, All right. chill as a cucumber. <sighs> it was a, oh, I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> oh no, I'm dying. Why? Not now, not like this. And there's a pair of gross, uh, ghostly hands clasping themselves around the back of my head. And there is a sharp, painful jerk to the left. I'm hmm. now dead. What did look he look that. like, by the way? Um, I did snap several pictures of parts of him, but I don't think it registered. No, I didn't. That it was actually him. Um, like for a, if you watch my stream, there was a bit where he was running, where I was running backwards, trying to get pictures of him. <laughs> I will say that, um, for most of these guys, it's... it's I think he looked like the old man from that other, that other one we did. I think it was that, that kind of a image of, of, of an avatar for the ghost. Okay. So we've already done Tanglewood. Um, have we done Edgefield yet? I think that was one of the first ones we did. No, I don't, I don't think we, we did. Um, it may not have been tonight, it may have been last night. Two-story, anyway. six-bedroom house with a basement. Another team recently went here and failed. It's up to you to finish the job. Get there yep. as soon as you can and gather evidence for the ghost removal team. That Reckon map we've not done, but we have done at the town of Edgefield before. Difficulty professional. Bring it on. You ready for your first pro level hunt? Yeah, uh, professional, right from the get go, they can hunt you and try to kill you. So let's okay. do our best to not say the ghost's name unless we have crucifixes down. <laughs> Immediately goes in and starts saying the ghost's name. I will fight you. <laughs> when the ghost just stands there watching us kill each other by throw it by yeeting random things at each other. All right, there we go. Ready and let's go. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mm. Freaking love guacamole. and see if my upstairs neighbors did it. Is that anything? Alrighty. All right. Check the equipment and get set up before investigating. And remember to check the whiteboard for help. Oh no. It's the same ghost. Be careful. You're going in <laughs> We were the team that failed. <laughs> this is actually like a, a re we're actually watching like a recording of the last ghost hunters that came in here and died. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that would be actually kind of cool. Um, that would be pretty damn, pretty damn cool. That'd be some uh, Blair Witch Slenderman level shit. Mm -hmm. Michael um, Anderson responds to everyone. Room below ten Celsius, salt, and a photo. Okay. So I'm gonna grab thermometer. Yeah, we have a light. Um, uh, book. Um, I only brought one for my other shoe. Um, oh, yeah, because the other one was mine. You can have the thermometer. All right. Why don't you bring in the EMF? Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll grab the EMF and I'll grab, um, the salt, I think. No, I'll grab it. I'll take the, I'll take the picture in the EMF. Cool. Um. Alrighty. Um. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Let's go. I have the key. Oh. Look at you, ahead of the game. <clears throat> I was staring at the spot, waiting for it to spawn in. Alright. Oh, yet another gorgeous house, man. 
Man, will... if the people who made this game don't stick with, um, just don't, don't just, uh, or don't keep doing video games, then they could very definitely go into, uh, I bet it there in the burnt, I bet it's in the murder basement. Um, okay. they could definitely go into interior design. There's the garage. I am literally going around turning on every light switch I see. Ooh, I remember this house. I don't like it. Hmm, someone's already got a journal in here. It's probably the one from the... That probably means that might be the room. Potentially. I'm not... I'm not seeing any temperature fluctuations yet. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of footsteps. I'm not sure if it's you upstairs or what. I just heard something snap. I just heard a door shut or open. Oh, I got EMF too. Where where are you? I'm uh kitchen. Kitchen? Kitchen slash main hallway. Had it, it's gone. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna put this down uh, right here, um, and then I'm gonna go back for it's going again. Do, does it only count as a picture if it's even EMF five? I got ten degrees in this. Ooh, nine. Did you hear me, Matt? What? Does it only count as a picture if I if it if it's EMF five? No. Okay. It just so has to. It just has to be going. It just going. has to be be going. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I'm gonna leave that there. Um, gonna come back in for the salt. Huh. Um. Oh, it just wrote in the book. I, okay. It's in the bathroom. Right. Okay, bathroom, dude. Bad place to die. All right. right. Um, it said, die, die, die. Oh, yay. All right. Spirit, Revenant, Shade, Demon, Uri. Oni. Okay, so most of the ghosts. All right. Um, oh, oh, oh. I know what I can do. Um, oh, I, I have three things already. Duh. Um, did you grab a video camera to look for ghost orbs? No, I have the spirit box and a crucifix that I'm going to drop in there. Okay. All right, you said it's in the bathroom? All right, let me... Yep. Let me salt up the bathroom a bit. Uh, we'll put some right... God damn it, I did it again. <laughs> Where, are Where are you? Where are you? Uh, oh, 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 we need to turn on the water. Where, Where are, are you? Are you? Oh, oh, we got spirit box. Okay. Okay. Salt down. A spirit, Eat a demon, that. or an oni. Okay. Put the EMF in the actual room. Uh, journal and spirit box. Okay. Um, what am I looking for? Let's, uh, let's flip that off. Um. Okay. Uh, what was it? Oh, you got the video camera. Okay. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, salt! He just walked through salt, because it wasn't, and then he did. Um, okay. Uh... We got fingerprints. Ghost. Okay. Fingerprints are the last. So it's not Makes a it a spirit. It's a spirit. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah, bring the... Um, I'll grab the other crucifix. Bring your um, camera with you. 
Um, and Hold we can a take second. a picture of the fingerprints. Trying to find spirit. There it is. A spirit is the most common ghost. What I should have been doing is reading off each kind. Spirit is the most common kind of ghost. Uh, you will come across, however, it is still very powerful and dangerous. They are usually discovered at one of their hunting grounds after an, an unexplained death. Uh, unique strengths, nothing. Using smudge sticks on a spirit will stop it attacking for a long period of time. Spirit box, fingerprints, ghost writing. Yep, okay. Um, so, do you have space for a lighter? I do not. Okay. We'll um, have to come back for the smudge sticks, I think. Well, I was thinking that I could bring one and you could bring the other, but... Uh... I mean, that works. I, I already have a crucifix in the in the bathroom yeah. and then we um, always come back for the second crucifix all right so you have you have the um i grab the sticks so grab the lighter all right i'll grab the lighter and i will okay. bring in and you bring in the camera and we can take a picture of the yep. fingerprints all righty all right and you can just yeet the lighter down some oh emf is going off all right it should be right here on the that right there on the door see it Yep. Cool. EMF is still going off. Oh, let me get the footsteps. Ooh, right. we got dirty water too. Nice. Um. Cool. Yeah, drop the smudge stick and I'll grab it and mess up the room. All right. All right. Uh, I'll go back for the crucifix. Oh, shoot. Is there something else we should grab for? Uh... For picture's sake? No, I think we're good. Okay, I'm going to drop that camera off and grab another one. Crucifix. Did you already grab the crucifix? Oh, I, I grabbed one. Left it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the only thing we're missing, really missing, is a picture of the actual ghost itself. Alright. Do we want to push our um, luck? Yes. Yes, we do. All right. Okay, so we have dirty water. We have EMF going off at two. We have the fingerprints. We have the footsteps into the salt. We just need the ghost itself. All right. EMF. You, um... The the EMF is not labeled, even though it's going off. Um. So I don't think it does actually count for a picture unless there is, um. Unless okay. it's going off at five. Did you grab the crucifix? I did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll bring my own camera then. Probably a good idea. Okay, EMF was going off and then I came back. Now it's going off again. However, it's not... Oh! Door just tried to shut on me. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I'll um, bring in another camera. Okay. Got one looking in the bathroom. I'll put one looking across the kitchen. Oh, he just did the water again. Yeah, he turned the sink on. Yeah, toss the crucifix down in the in the in the kitchen. Mm, let's put it right where here. Yeah, that'll work. I don't have to put, I just can just yeet it, right? No. Yep, you just have to yeet it. Okay. Ooh, EMF3. Nice. Um. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get higher than three. Cause where are where you? Where are you? Show yourself. Show yourself. Hey, um... How old, yeah, are, you? how old are you? Adult? Okay. Okay. Do you want uh, us to leave? to leave? What do you say? He said die. So, yeah. That would be a leave. Um... Are you angry? Are you angry? Nothing. Are you are angry? You angry? That was me. Where, are, Where you? are you? He keeps trying to shut that shut that door on you. 
Um, go ahead and leave. I want to see if he comes after my ass. Just give us, Just a, give sign. us a sign. Where are Where you? Are you? Hey, Michael. It just moved the door Mr. on Mr. Anderson. Yeah, he's been trying to close it. He's been trying to close it, and you just keep getting in the way and causing it to not shut. Mr. Anderson. Uh, I'm all out of photos on my camera. How many do you have? I haven't. I've only sna I have four left. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I, I, and there's still one left on the one inside the truck still that I just that I dropped behind. So yeah, just leave me behind. I'll. Michael. What is that static noise? I turned on the TV. Oh. Makes sense. I can. Go ahead and leave the house. Go watch the cameras and stuff. And sanity and spikes and stuff. Alright, I'm looking at you. Got him! Nice. Oh yeah, I'm at 13 and you're at 31. Get out of there, man. All our objectives are done. I think he's in. He's not hunting because I'm not flashing. No, he hit. I'm, I'm now flashing! Hunting. Oh, hide, man, hide. And make sure to shut the door behind you. Do they respond to light? Matt. Um, he he doesn't, res not to my knowledge, I know who he responds when you use the in-game voice chat. That's the big okay, one. Okay, but if I have the flashlight on, he doesn't respond to it. Well, if you shine it at him, but if you are like hunched over in the corner and you just have it pointing at the ground, he doesn't respond to it. Okay. Well, he's not hunting anymore, so. Good. Let me... Oh, that's a pull door. Duh. Alright. Ooh, that's a good photo. Yeah. I got a couple yeah, of them. Yeah, we're, we're good to go, man. Yeah. Allons-y. Goodbye, Michael. Go fuck yourself, Michael. Respect, respectfully, go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, the light upstairs just turned off when I, when I told him goodbye. All right, so we got spirit. All yep. right, cool. we're good. Our first, your first pro level map. Eh. <laughs> A success. Ooh, look at that, 195 bucks. Mm-hmm. Getting all the juicy stuff. Up to level six. Nice. I jumped from level three up to level six. <laughs> Let me spend some of my $5,000 real quick. Yeah, that's right. I'm rolling in deep. I mean, you are level 7,000, 7, so I mean. <clears throat> Motion sensors, sound sensors, sanity pills. Okay. okay. I bought some more stuff. Awesome. All right, uh, so it's currently 8.44 my time, 8.45 my time, which means it's 9.45 your time. 
I yep. say we do. We either go till go for another fifteen or so minutes, and then call it. Okay. Um, let's see if I have a a medium sized map. Try it. I mean, we go as long as the next thing will take if it takes longer than 15 minutes. Yeah. So, it doesn't need to be any... It doesn't matter what size it is. Fair enough. For those watching my stream, pardon me shoveling food into my face. All right. Head mounting camera, glow stick, infrared. Light sensor, motion sensor. We're going to need one more of those. Infrared. Motion sensor, there we go. Okay, strong flashlight, tripod. Three tripods. Add another video camera. Lighter, candle. Crucifix. I've already bought, added everything that I currently own. Okay, cool. I'm contributing. Okay. <clears throat> you said you wanted to do one of the larger maps, right? Sure. Because I have the high school on intermediate. Okay, that works. All right. Shut down due to unnatural deaths. This isolated school has been abandoned for decades. The owner called this morning. From what she said, it sounds like a dangerous ghost is haunting the area. Get there as soon as you can and gather evidence for the ghost removal team. We'll have more intel when you arrive. Okay. I'm going to get a couple more sanity pills. We're going to need all of them. Because we're going to be in the dark a lot. Yeah. School's fairly, it's not super gigantic, but it's pretty big. And let me get some sanity pills. Cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. All right, cool. All ready when you are. All righty. All right. I want Z. Now this, as far as the school goes, I think what we'll do is we'll, um, methodically search each room and each floor yeah um we'll, we'll start with the bottom floor first i'll go on the left side and you'll go on the right side okay so you were thinking split up i was thinking go together that way we can complement each other's um item ability because mm -hmm. if because if yeah, because we... then i could take the emf and you could take the thermometer or vice versa and, yeah, uh, if that works. We can do that. Um, it's just we're and very then we'd likely. We'd have an alternative. Um, we'd have that third slot for either defense or sanity pills or. Yeah, sanity pills are going to be really important for this one. Once mm -hmm. we find the actual room, unless we find it right away, we'll want to go back and take some sanity pills. Okay. And as far as I'm aware, there's like three entrance entrances into the school the main doors then a couple of back ones that go out to like a little basketball court mm -hmm. makes sense so there is only one floor to the school even though there no, are there's, stairs there's two oh floors. it's probably not letting me interact with the button because you're not in yet no i'm not in yet makes sense There we go. All right, we're here. Take a look mm. at the equipment and prepare accordingly mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. starting the investigation. I've also written some notes on the whiteboard if you need them. Got the intel. Looks so like what are the yellow boxes on this? We've had reports of violence, and it looks like they left in a hurry. Cameras that the school already has in it. Mmm, okay. Circuit breaker is on the uh, east stairs. All right, so on this map, we're coming in through that top section right up here. Okay. So when we come in, it'll be the stairs that are on the left. 
All right, let's let's just take a quick look at Gando with the. It is possible that we can find some ghost orbs floating around. Right off the bat, yeah. Give us a give us some uh, starting areas. Most of the time, the ghosts will have like a a classroom that they're haunting in. I have mm -hmm. seen one ghost spawn in the gymnasium, and that is absolutely horrifying. I bet. Yeah, okay. And her name is Ruth Harris, and she only responds when we're alone. So, that's fun. Ruth Harris. I bet she died from a tragic cheerleading accident or some shit like that. Yeah, she she didn't stick the dismount. She landed on her right, neck. so you have thermometer. I have thermometer, ghost book, and flashlight. Okay. Um... <clears throat> So that we don't have to make as many return trips. What do we need? Okay, so we, we need, need a witness salt. a ghost event. We need salt. I'll grab the salt. And we need thermometer. Okay, you've got the thermometer. Um, you got the ghost book. I'll grab the salt. Um, and the EMF. Yeah, that works good. Okay. Uh, okay, you have a headlamp on, so I'll grab the other one. All right. Um... All right, we have two minutes. All right, let's go. That's you have the key. Go. Yep. Well, um, I think you got the key. I didn't. I was going to, and then I didn't. No, well, I'm not seeing it on the desk over here. So one of us must have grabbed it. All right. So here it is. Oh yeah, I I have it. I have it. Yeah. I must cool. have grabbed it without, and then forgot. James Brownstone High School. Hmm. Seen better days. All right, I'll follow you. All right. Well, we'll start by going right, I think. Okay. We'll turn on these lights right here. What do we got in this room? Oh, this is the gym. Ooh, yeah. Boy. It it's built so that it's centralized around the gym. As a note, gym lights are on. I flipped okay. them on now. Okay. Where'd you go? I lost you. Right oh, here. I see you. All right. Uh, rooms we check, we should turn on the light switches too. Well, usually the rooms I check, I just throw the door open. Yeah, but we should still turn on the light switches so that if they flip a switch, we can know it. Oh, I just did you heard hear that? something. Yeah, a telephone. Ah, so they're in an office. That, yeah, the the telephone will give it away. So um, now we know it's. It in sounded one of these far away. Lines. It was far away though. Oh, there hold it is on. Again. Let me let me use my seven point one surround sound to try to pinpoint. All right. Fo uh, follow me, if you can find me. Just opening one of the back doors. All right. Oh, you're going all the way down there. Yeah, because it legitimately rang from a far way away. I found a phone, but I don't know if it's the same phone. Hey, Ruth, call me. It's not going to be in a bathroom. On the locker it room. Might, it might. Oh. Oh Jesus. Yeah, power. They just she just tripped the breaker. Yeah. I'm at the stairs. I'll trip it back. All right. It's on. Cool. So it was either coming from upstairs, or Very I distinct. found a, I found a classroom with a phone 
do many classrooms have phones, or is it just going to be the one? Um, all the classrooms have phones. Okay. Ah, yes, they do on the teacher's desk. Yep. Oh, I found the other side of the cafeteria. I think I found the science room. Outside door. Oh, yep. I think I found the geography room or history or something. Because there's a big ass globe in this, on the desk and a bunch of maps in places. Mm. Ah, there's a light switch. Well, I'm in the gym. I'm making mm -hmm. my way over to the to the left side where you are. Okay. So far, no EMF. Okay. As I said before, I've been leaving the light switches on of, of rooms I've checked. So if you want to poke okay. your head in with the thermometer. Nothing in the locker room. Yeah. That's why these bigger maps, they usually recommend a team of at least of three four, people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I heard a door shut. That was me. I pulled it uh -oh. the wrong way. Found the bathroom. Men's room specifically. Doubt she's going to be in there. Nah. We heard a phone ring, so she won't be in a bathroom. Found the ladies. Well, ladies' room, except it would be the ladies' room, except it's got urinals. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I am close. I think it is upstairs. So it's either in here. Which it's not. Ooh. Okay, I think it's upstairs. It sounded like it was more upstairs, but it's upstairs near us. Okay, so okay. let's go back. Ugh. Check this room on the right here, and then I'll go upstairs. Nope, nothing. Oh. Yeah, this one. Oh, yep, upstairs. Okay. In fact, I think it's this room right here. Guess we'll find out. Ready? Which one? Yeah. This one. I have a 15 hey, degrees in there. Hey, Ruthie, give me a call. Oh, I got negative 11. It's this room right here. Okay, so freezing temperatures. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely this room. Negative 11 it is freezing in here. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and salt. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. And, I'll, and she's been calling on the phone, so I'll put it by the phone. Sounds like a plan. And there. All right, cool. Now I'm gonna go back and grab more stuff because I left my e I left my EMF in there, so if it uh, if it goes off, Ooh. you. I hit negative. I just kind of want to drop off that, you know. Just, I wish it would let me drop off the thing. That would be cool. Okay. Uh, take a, let me take a second and put the freezing temperatures in. Well, the good news is, since it's um, <clears throat> upstairs in that room, um, it means coming downstairs, going to the exits, is going to be safer. Yeah, if if we're downstairs, we could just pop in a room, and we should be relatively safe as long as we're not too close to the steps. Mm -hmm. And don't make the mistake that I did and hide by this room right here that doesn't have a door on it. Right. I did that once. That was fun. Man, All right. they picked the creepiest fucking place to build a school. Right? All these dead trees. The the type of fence is giving me like a graveyard vibe. Okay. Um. Freezing. She's already walked through the salt, so when we get back, I'll you know, take a picture of that. 
Cool. Yeah, let's let's take one set of our pills now since we're at fifty percent. <clears throat> okay. How do you do? You use them by swapping to them and you taking them, or do you do they do you click them and they automatically um, get taken? You pick them up and you right click. Okay. So go ahead and actually take them now, or wait. Yeah, take them now. We'll leave the last one there. But don't be a. I was a dummy and ended up taking the second one, so. Rip. Oh well. Okay. Right. Um. So. We camera. Need a ghost event. All right. So I got the crucifix, and I will bring the video, the the video camera. Okay. Um. Uh, leave a try. Hold on. Oh, you can combine the two to get to bring it, so it's one item. Um, yep. So you're saying you're taking the crucifix? Yeah, I'm taking the crucifix and the camera. You take a fingerprint and spirit box. Okay. And we'll head up there and see what we can find. Uh, problem. What's up? Which, do we, which would we rather, spirit box or UV? Because I'm not leaving the photo camera behind. Um, Bring the spirit box. Okay. Now remember, the, I left the EMF thing in the room, so if we hear it going off, then, you know. Yeah. All right. All right, spirit box is on. And if the ghost haunts us, I'll just chuck this uh, camera Yeet at the it. Crucifix. <laughs> Yeet the crucifix onto the floor. Yeah, a lot of streamers wouldn't a lot of streamers, when this game first started, um, they would try, try throwing the crucifix at the ghost, and it's like, no, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> well, I mean, people were still trying to figure out how the, how it worked. Yeah. Okay. This corner room. Uh, why that room? It's this room. No, no it's, it's not. This You're one. right. You're right. I forgot. Let me close this door so I don't confuse myself again. Alright, there's that. Alright. Let's go behind. Let me toss that down. Oop. Come on. Onto the desk. There you go. And then... Ooh, freezing temperatures. Hey, Ruth. Where are Where you? Where are you? There's How still been no, are you? nothing are you? on the EMF. Do you want, Do you us, want to us to leave? Okay, I'm. You can continue doing that. I'm gonna go get the. Um, the UV. I'm gonna get my own camera as well. Okay. What's the other thing that you brought? It was the crucifix and the. The video camera. camera. Mm -hmm. So we can look for. Um, spirit orbs. Okay. We'll check that when we get back out to the van. I think of all the um, all the different maps, the um, this one creeps me out by far the most. I don't know why. I mean, it it elicits the PTSD of high school. There is that. Like one thing that I wish they would have added to this one is having the the school bells ring. Right. That. That would have taken the ambiance up to an 11. Yeah. Imagine if you had to worry about battery life. Oh, jeez. What was the name of that series? Not Last of Us. Um, Outlast? Ugh. No Something thinking. like that, yeah. Okay. Um, what I said I was going to grab. Let's see if I got any. Do we Did have you already put the spirit book down? Yeah, the book is in the oh, room. Oh, UV, that's right. So UV. Hmm. Okay. I don't see anything. Okay. Hmm. How's sanity? sanity? 77 and 85. Good. Oh, things just spiked, like 15 seconds ago. So while we were exiting, she sp it spiked. Um. Yeah, it's right. definitely this room because that's where. All right, so when we get back to the room, remind me to take pictures of the footstep in the and the salt, and we'll need uh -huh. to check the book because you said you already put it down in there. Yep. Um. 
What and else? You said you were. You, you, I have you the UV. You okay, I'll grab the other crucifix then. The spirit box is in the room. The EMF is in the room. Yep. Um, and she does respond to what people else? who are alone. So. Yeah. Uh, what else can we put down in the room that would allow us that she could interact with that would allow us to take pictures of it for money? Um. Aside from the saw, the EMF, the book, um. I think that might be it. Okay. <clears throat> Other than that, we just need to find bones and voodoo dolls and stuff. Well, the voodoo dolls are only on the farmhouse map. Well, still. Yeah. If the point is still there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Finding um... bones on these maps is more a matter of luck rather than let's track it down because when everyone's right. sandy starts to get low, sometimes the ghosts will just start chain haunting you, and that is a very mm -hmm. unpleasant experience. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright. She's turned that off while we were leaving. Uh, Unless you flipped no. the switch, because I turned it yeah. on on our way out. No, that was me. I, I'm. It, oh, there's the phone again. The Even in my ring. video games, I like to. Uh, Turn off the lights time. when you leave an area? Yeah. Because, at least in my mind, it's like, oh man, this has to have an impact on how, how often the power goes out. You know? Well. I turn it on. Um. So that we can actually more accurately see, you know? Yeah. As we're entering and leaving. Okay. Okay. So for the spirit box, it's going to prefer... You need to have the lights off, and, it, and it's only going to respond when we're alone. Okay. Um, Alright, so let me check the phone with the UV. Nothing on the phone. Nothing in the book. Oh my god! It's you a teacher. Her? Yeah, I got a picture of her. Hey Ruth, I'm sorry I failed the quiz. Can I go answer? Holy, she spawned right in front of me and was walking straight towards her desk. Yeah. Oh, EMF is, is finally going off. Okay, so did you get a picture of the salt? Yes, I did. Yep. Okay. Um, if you want to leave the room, I can um, talk on the spirit box and see if she answers. She before wants that, us to be alone. Um, no, okay. Nothing, before that, let's tally clues. Um, we've got nothing on the journal. Not, not, hot, not level 5 EMF. Freezing temperatures, because I'm seeing my breath. Yeah. Which we already have. No um, ghost doors. And Nothing on fingerprints it. yet, but I haven't done much looking. Um, so yeah, let me do a once over with fingerprints first. Uh, yeah, and, and check the phone too. Yeah, I checked the phone, which is I didn't see anything. So. They probably wouldn't put it like all over the ceiling and stuff like that, right? It'll. Oh! Hunt! Hunt! She's right behind me. good yeah holy moly I am scared Whew.
Where are you? Where are you? Oh, we got spirit box. Okay. All right, let me do it once over with the. Still no ghost journal. It's either a wraith, a mare, or a demon. Where Where are you at? I'm in the room getting searching for fingerprints still. All right. If it's fingerprints, it'll it's a wraith. If it's a demon, it'll write in the book. If it's a mare, it's EMF level five. Well, EMF is still going off, but no level five. There's been nothing in the book. And I'm seeing no fingerprints. I'm just surprised she's actually spawned in. Like, I have a crucifix in here. Are you sure it's not gone? Like oh, you're right, it did. Ugh, that photo of her is so freaking creepy. Okay. Hold on. Mm. Um, I'm gonna give you this if you have an open spot. If not, don't worry about it. Because I'm giving up on that. Let me walk around with the EMF a bit. I'm there. Damn it. That's not what I said to do. There we go. It's not fingerprints. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, jeez. They got trapped on a desk. Okay. Alright, uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to... Oh, another hunt. Let's try relocating the journal. If she hasn't written in it yet. I think she turned the power off. Yeah, yeah she did. I'm gonna go turn it back on. It might be a mare, because mares okay. target the power out quite a bit. It's only happened twice though. What was the other sign of a mare? Mare is EMF. Okay. Well, there hasn't really um, been any sign of that. If it's... Well, hold on. Let me check to make sure. I know it's a, I a hear demon. On me. Not a hunt, but... Okay. So a demon, it's definitely in the book. Um... It is five. It's a mare. Uh, wait, no. That's a four. Oh, no, Mare's ghost orbs. Shoot, okay. Okay, so Mare's ghost orbs, the demon is the book, and the wraith will be fingerprints. Okay, so... Book, fingerprints, no fingerprints. Oh, what was the other thing? Um, ghost, ghost orbs. orbs. Yeah, you set up the camera? The... Yeah, I did. Okay, hold on, let me... How do you set the book down? There, uh, nope, um, that's a yeet. The yeah, the G button. There we go. Will I got it. Toss it. Yeah, G throws it. E sets it. Oh, perfect. Uh, All right. Do we, we want to come out and by check D, for I mean ghost orbs and check our sanity? <laughs> yeah. Default F. I'm coming. All right. Yeah, she. It spiked up to EMF four. Um. But I don't think it was EMF five. Mm. Well, it, it can't be the EMF. Um, oh, true. It's gonna it be the journal. Orbs. 
ghost orbs or um, fingerprints, which we were all over that room and we didn't see any. Yeah. So I put the journal on the teacher's desk because you said it was a teacher. Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Right as I was going uh -oh. out the door. You could go into a corner or you can try to go into a room really quick, but. Oh boy. <laughs> Come on. Close the door. I'm fine. Because we're not even on the second floor, so. Yeah. Hmm. Like, my heart. <clears throat> my heart isn't even going. And it's done. Yeah, it's done. So it was fingerprints, ghost orbs, or journal, right? Yeah. Fingerprints, was, ghost orbs, or journal, yep. Was there another one, or just those two? Or three? It's only going to be one of those three. Well, yeah, I mean, like... Ah, oh, damn it. Let me out the door! Oof. Okay. Um, Wraith, Mare, Demon. Demon is book. Mare is ghost orbs, which I'm not seeing. And yeah, raise this fingerprints. See if I can see her on the map walking around anywhere. Check the second floor cameras. Yeah, I'm looking around. <laughs> hmm. And yeah, you're good. Oh, that's a, another difference that I thought of with the different with the levels of difficulty. The higher up you go, the longer the haunts last. Yeah, if this happens again, where I go to the door and we enter a hunt, what we might have you do is bring the set, the set of sanity pills into me so that I can actually get outside. But no, I'm outside, so it's fine. Okay, good. Yeah, you're at zero percent. <laughs> She did not want me to leave. Man, I've had nightmares about that in school. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, that's why I hate this map so much, but it's also the best one. Yeah, right. Check out that photo that I got of her. She's still under high heels and a dress and everything. Yeah, I, I saw her. I turned around just to, in time to see her. Um, right. She's been going after me this whole time. Do you notice that? Yeah. Like, she spawned behind me and everything. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm, we, okay, so it's, orbs. okay, so, hold on, just, just to be sure, Wraith, Mare, Demon, because mm -hmm. I keep forgetting what you say, okay, so Mare so, is Spirit Box, Ghost Orb, and Freezing Temperatures, Ghost Orbs, no sign of, um, Demon, Spirit box, freezing temperatures, ghost writing. Um, what was that? Wraith, freezing temperatures, fingerprints, not and spirit box. So we're pretty sure it's not the wraith. Yeah, because we looked all over that room. They also Between... have a toxic reaction to salt, and yeah. they salted the hell out of that place. Yeah, we saw if because with wraiths, if they're che if. If you put salt by their door and they t they won't pass it. I mean, um, it's possible that they have not been able to uh, actually hunt us because we put salt in the doorway. Yeah. And the demon is much more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Um. And it attacks. Which this at has random. been very. This has been very aggressive. True. But there's been no. We need to go check the journal again. And then the the mayor is ghost orbs, but it also has an increased chance of attacking us in the dark. Which it's so been doing in, as well. Yeah. 
So it could... Honestly, I'm leaning towards the mayor. Mm -hmm. But we haven't Simply, been seeing any ghost orbs. And it's... Yeah, I know. I could try to move this camera a little bit. Um, no, let's bring in a different one. Get more angles in. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I've got the EMF and one of the things. I'll grab another one of these. All right. Come on. So, you, so it's F to put. To, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. I realize and once it, I realize that. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I once I realize that it wants you to. Um, oh. God damn one it. thing that you can do okay. is um, you can turn the camera on and then put it on a tripod. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got my camera. Oop. Are, okay. Are we pretty works. much? I'm gonna leave the um, fingerprint finder in here for now, simply because we haven't had any luck. Yeah. I'm gonna bring in a second journal, and I'm gonna bring my camera. Um, bring no, bring bring another bring another one of these uh, cameras, the video cameras, so we can get more than one angle, more than two angles. All right. Yeah, that works. Let me pick so, you up. So where I put um. There we go. Yeah, it's this room right up here, in the t very, very t tippy top right. Yeah. Um, so the first camera I put was like here in that back corner behind the door. Hold on, did I put Maybe my flashlight we... down? Do you not have your flashlight? I do not have my flashlight. I must have put it down. Oh boy. Well, we have extras here if you want one. Yeah, I want my strong one though. <laughs> Where'd I put oh. it? Where'd I put that shit? <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, there it is. It's on the floor. Right here. Ah, See it? yes. Yes, Ooh. I must have accidentally pushed G in order to... Okay. I was like, why isn't my, my light turning on? You accidentally uh, yeeted the camera. I yeeted the light. The flashlight, yeah. Yeah, the flashlight. Alright. Okay. In I go. There we go. Alright. I'm coming in behind you. Are the lights out again? Possibly. No. Okay. I was about to say, because if that's the case, then we are definitely possibly looking at him there. Yeah. Um. Oh, hunt. We're good. Holy yeah. moly. I'm thinking, I really am thinking that it's a demon because of how aggressive she is. Plus also teacher. <laughs> Spe specifically dead teacher from Lord knows how long ago. You know, cause this building is old. Yeah. Hmm. It's right, a... I'm gonna come in here and turn on the lights for a second while we're setting up. That way All she's right. a bit, a bit. Uh, oh she, gosh, she... she is on me. Uh, Hi lady. Uh, I did my homework, uh, I promise. I think I just died. Did you? Maybe. No, no, I'm still alive so far. Okay, whew. You spooked me. Oh yeah, the crucifixes in the room are gone. Yeah. Dang. And uh, no writing in the journal. All right, where did you put the other camera? Oh, I see it. I put it I put it in the hallway. The one that I brought up. I mean, we should put it in the rooms. Did you just turn off the light switch? No, I didn't. 
Hunt. Yeah, we're good. She was at that door too. If I hadn't gone back and actually latched it, she probably would have pushed in. I'm really starting to think you might be right, man. It might be a demon, because you turned the lights on in there and... But did she turn the power off? Possibly. Oh, no, she didn't. I'm, I'm beginning to think you might be right. I think this might be a demon. Except there's been no ghost journal writing. Yeah, I know. That's the confusing part. Hunt, I'm out. Where are you at? I'm downstairs. All right, I'm going back in the room we were just in. And then I'm All heading right. outside. Because I bet my sanity is incredibly low. And honestly, it's almost 9.30. We should call uh, my time, so we should... Uh, Take yeah, a guess and call it. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, one of us could guess it. We could guess one mare, one di one demon. Yeah. Yeah, with how aggressive I... they are... Well, we know for a fact they're not a wraith, because the salt and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm really starting to think this is a demon, because... You've, the lights have been on in that room, and it still attacks incessantly. Yeah. It did turn off the lights right when it just attacked me, that last time it attacked me. Okay. But... Yeah, but the power is still on. Yeah, it has not been turning off the power and then attacking. It's just been flipping yeah. off the lights in that room. Oops. All right. Down here. Yeah, I, I was dry, uh, wiping some uh, something off of my wrist and accidentally moved my mouse. Oh, fuck. oh my god, again. First room on the right. Yep. Leave the door open, I'll close it behind me. It's at that point where it's just frustrating. Yeah. Latch. Latch. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm really th thinking this is a demon. <laughs> Let's cuddle I... in the corner. <laughs> because that's the is the one nice thing about these larger maps is mm -hmm. that if you know where the ghost's spawn room is you can be on the other side of the map and you're fine we're good especially since it's just intermediate so the haunts don't last very long yeah on professional do they um do they like actually chase you around the full map on professional, the hunts last much longer, so there's much more of a chance okay. um, that you'll have to actually run from it. Right. I think what I meant to leave behind earlier, not my flashlight, was the EMF reader. Because I had it with me that whole time. Oh yeah, we're both at zero. <laughs> yeah. Let's look and see what... Oh, she... That's, that's her room. Yeah, we left the lights on in her room. It's hot. Oh. Hell. Um. We've witnessed that's ghost hot. events. We've we've got all our objectives. We just need to definitively cement. Yeah, I'm really thinking it's a demon. I think so too. It's being stupidly aggressive. Can I can I just turn off the computer? That would be hilarious if I just like flipped the switch and you and <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah, that's um 
I'm pretty confident it's a demon. A mayor should not be able to attack, would not be attacking that much if we have all those lights on. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm chalking up as a demon. Okay. I mean, I could go in, lure her with my tasty zero sanity. You could sit here and watch on the fucking camera and see if uh, we get any ghost orbs. But uh, it's it. it is 9.30 now, so I'm going to go ahead. I, I'd say we guess and call it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Ninety-five percent sure it's a demon. <laughs> that moment when it comes back as a wraith. <laughs> Mare. Oh, um, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, we still got a hundred bucks, so. Yeah. And I'm now level seven. Freaking A game. <laughs> that was not a mare. We had the lights on in the room. And again, she did turn them off and then came after my ass. So I think that's that's their loophole. Oh yeah, look at her. I got a picture right here in the bottom left corner. Oh, I left the session. Oh shoot. It's fine. That works. Hey, I got a bunch of I got some extra money because of daily challenges. There you go. I played with another hunter. I discovered the ghost type, and I survived the hunting phase at least Ooh. once. <laughs> Just right, I'm now level back. seven. Nice. Let me let me do some purchasing. I'm level eighty-one. Alright. Nice. Did some grinding for you. Mm-hmm. gonna buy some smudge sticks, a tripod, a strong flashlight, because apparently, because I think I lost the one I bought when, uh, oh no, I couldn't get it when I had the money for it, and then I forgot. Okay. And all those times when she was, was spawning in that round, did you actually ever see her? Every time. It, oh, you mean during the hunt? No. She was right behind, she was, though she, though the foot, um, when we were upstairs, she was always right behind me. She followed me to every room, and then I just turned around and shut the door. Actually, that's not true. I did see her once, I think. I saw movement in the dark behind me as I turned, as I turned to close the door of the room that I went into, uh, one time in one of the hunts. I don't remember which one. Man. I but... Yeah, I like I heard the footsteps right every time we were upstairs during a hunt. I heard the footsteps right behind me every time. That she had it out for me, like <laughs> she had it out for me as if I was the trouble student in her class. <laughs> well, she never, uh, um, she never um, spooked you too terribly bad. But there was that one time when you said, "Oh God!" <laughs> it was "Oh God" because I was. I was not in a good place to be haunted. Exactly. I was in... It was much less spook and much less... Oh, fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the same reaction you could, that I would give if um, I was in another game and got ambushed. You know? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is a bad place. <laughs> Entering a boss hunt room, you know? That kind of a thing. A boss, yeah. boss fight room. That kind of a reaction. Less gotcha. of a... Oh god! I'm scared. Whew. We had some we had some good ones. Um Yeah. Got I, I will time. say I will say I did actually get spooked twice. However, both of them were entirely my own fault. <laughs> yeah. How so? Um I clicked the button and turned off the light switch and then Im while immediately forgetting that I turned off the light switch. <laughs> oh. And my heart went, what just happened? You know? <laughs> I'm like... And then I'm like, what did I... I just flipped off the fucking switch. What the hell? 
Um, and then there was another time where uh, I was walking around and I spooked myself with my own shadow. Mm. Um, what what I hate about the shadows in this game are only things on you that cast a shadow are the items you're currently carrying. Yeah. And I mean, I get it. They didn't want to have to actually render a solid thing for them to have to worry about. And if, and then you could cause some real problems if you got yourself in front of a flashlight, etc., yeah. etc. However, um, it's spooky as fuck because I'm looking, I'm holding the EMF thing, and I'm looking around. And I'm going, "What the fuck is that?" And I, I say spooky as fuck. What I mean is, it's up, it's frustrating and and, and annoying and. Uh, uh -huh. what's the other word I would use? Uh... What's the other word I would use? Um... Misleading, I guess? Cause mm. like, oh, I see something odd that shouldn't be there! Okay. Oh wait, that's the shadow of my EMF reader in my hand. You know, it, that kind of a thing. But I- and it would be more- it would be less scary well, again, scary's not the word. It would be less... Jarring. Wrong. Yeah, it would be less, wait, what the fuck is that? And if, if you had your arm, you know, attached to the thing. Gotcha. And honestly, you should not be seeing the shadow of the, of the entire EMF reader when it's just your own flashlight. Right? True. Because that's, that's the thing that I'm, that I keep, you know... That's the thing, is I keep seeing it when it's my flashlight on my chest, or wherever the flashlight goes, when you're pushing T while holding another mm -hmm. item. And the item you're currently holding registers as being in front of the flashlight, even though you would not be holding it right in front of the flashlight, you know? True. So it's just <laughs> a little... There's... They're... They need to adjust the source of light on the flashlight a bit. Is what I'm trying yeah. to say. Um, other than that, this game is actually really great. Um, it, uh, it it nails creepy ambiance really well, even though it doesn't yeah. work on me. <laughs> yeah, the the ambiance is so good, especially the the larger maps. Like mm -hmm. with, with this one, you know, you hear the phone ring and there's a little bit of an echo. When you go into the asylum, there's a big echo because it's so big. And then with yeah. the prison, you hear like the king, 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 king on the prison cell doors and different stuff like that. It's the the sounds that the ghosts make and the general ambiance of the places is incredible. Yeah, I would like to try the prison one at some point. Um, yeah, is there also like a psych hospital? I feel like I heard there was a psych hospital. Yeah, like the a asylum. like a yeah. Yeah, and that's the that's the really big one. That that one it can be. That that one requires four minute four people, one for one to be in the truck to lead help lead people around, and the other three to investigate. It requires four people, or one person who has an entire week. <laughs> no, because it, it is a really really big map. It's very easy to yeah. get lost. Whenever, who has whenever I, who uh, one person who has a week of free time does not plan to sleep that entire week. And, you know, has insurmountable patience. <laughs> like, when I've played it, a lot of times, there, you know those big glow, st glow sticks that, mm -hmm. on that spawn end? There's, there have been people that'll, like, lay, a, lay trails and, like, they'll put, you know, the glow sticks at key points. They'll take the weaker flashlights and turn them on and put them at certain points so that you can, it kind of guides your way to the exit. Because it, it can be so easy to get lost in that place. Yeah, that, that's absolutely stuff you should do. That is absolutely stuff you should do. Um, and if we ever did do an asylum, because uh, you said the asylum was the largest map? Yep. All right. Yeah, if we ever did an asylum, we would need to grind me up there before we actually did that. Um, yeah. And then, uh, you know, probably get a couple more people in. Um we could bring yep. in a couple of your friends and stuff like that for help. Yeah. Um, we could maybe try Yvonne again. Um, mm -hmm. 
but most likely not. Because then she could be the one in the van, you know, watching the cameras and yeah. guiding us in the on the map and stuff like that. And but one thing that can be nice about the third person and then truck as well, especially you know with the the three bigger maps, is um, you'll have they, your you, they see us on the map. You said yeah, they see, can see us on the map, and while the main three are out exploring, trying to find the room and stuff like that, the the one that's in the truck can actually just take a bunch of the supplies and drop them off back and forth so instead of having to go all the way back out to the truck they can just go to the front door which saves a bit of time yeah and they can be doing that while everybody else is just exploring and stuff like that that's actually pretty clever because like you could yep. then just empty the truck into the front door or the front area of the building that's pretty yep. clever i hadn't thought about that yeah that, um, that's what i that's what I usually do whenever I'm playing with my other friends. I mean, do the ghost or the, in the asylum, especially. I'll just litter the main entrance with all the with all the equipment they'll need. Do you group them together by type? Um, I usually just clutter them all in one spot and then just light the way with some with some glow sticks. <laughs> Fair. Ugh. Light some candles. But, yeah. A little, bit of, a little bit of ambiance, you know, sprinkle some salt around. <laughs> Dude, imagine if you could have... Imagine if they went as hard as they could have in this game and made it there where the ghost, instead of just immediately killing you if they grabbed you, they actually grabbed you and threw you around a bit. Like, if they could throw you like they were throwing... Like they throw the... the teddy bears and stuff nothing hard yeah. enough to kill you but like throw like yeet you across the room a little bit or just a couple of feet down the hall like a hard shove or something um and imagine if they could yeah. take the things out of your hands and yeet them across the, the uh, across the the room or something or down the, the hall thing i've had to that is when i was holding uh i got out the book and as i walked into the room it wrote in it while i was still holding it in my hand <laughs> that was pretty like, hey, can you sign my? Oh my God! <laughs> Just reaches over your shoulder here. Let me let me sign that for you. Um, <laughs> the um, what's it called? What was I gonna say? But the uh, but like also if they did that, then they could incorporate. Like of course there would be during the hunt if they get you during the hunt then that's insta-death, right? But they could incorporate yeah. a you-can-only-get-thrown-around-so-many-times type of a thing. Um, yeah, it could be like, oh, you get th thrown around, or if the ghost like throws a large object, like if it pushes the car in the garage, or if it flips over the dining room table, then it can yeah, be like if, a Yeah, if it hits sanity. you. Hit. If, it, if it hit, well, not just a sanity hit, but like a, f a physical hit. Like, add a health thing on top of it, is what I'm saying. So like or the maybe sanity... If it hits you, for a certain period of time, you move slower, so you can't well, sprint. Because I was, I think that would be a little far, um, gameplay wise, because yeah. you already move really freaking slow, um, yeah. and you don't want to punish the player too badly for what's supposed to be a scary experience. You know, um, it's the same reason that the people in like haunted houses and stuff don't touch. Uh, the customers because you don't because one you don't want to injure anybody and two it ruins the experience because then it becomes tangible um, yeah, true true story and uh, the um so it's this is very much more like an interactive ghost uh, haunted house than it is much else um yeah. with with punishment <laughs> um but like if they did the whole yeeting your equipment across the room thing they could do damage to the equipment like they could break your emf or something like that you know hmm. I, I've, um, I i could see that like if you set up a camera instead of instead of turning the lights on they just knock the camera over or they power it off well i mean lights and stuff like that but like also but also on top of all the other things they make it so that anything is touchable and yeetable um, kind of like how when they threw the the ghost journal at me earlier, um, yeah. like beginning of the stream, they could have made it so that like if they yeeted the ghost journal um, or they could have just picked it up and ripped it in half or something mm -hmm. like that, you know, ripped pages out of it or something. 
Um, that, that basically, they, one time on a stream, um, they, they, they were, it was the farmhouse and mm -hmm. um, it was the, the master bedroom. The guy puts the book down. And he's like, Hey, could you sign the book for me? And the, and the book flew straight at it past his face. And he heard the a guy's like, fuck your book. <laughs> and the guy was literally just like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your book. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, just like, screw you and your book. <laughs> but yeah, like I just kind of wish they would, they would add in more actions for the ghosts to do beyond just, yeah. uh, flashlights and closing doors and breathing in yeah. your ear you, you yeah. besides, know, other, besides general creepiness i feel i wish they would interact more with the actual player directly you know like physically shove you and stuff like and they don't even have to fully manifest in order to to do that they could oh, just no. straight up uh, like in their in non corporeal form, like full on from the movie Ghost, just yeet you a couple of feet, make you. That would be really forward. cool if they added that mechanic, especially if you know talk, talking earlier about the people that are super OD with rudeness, and when Absolutely. they start doing that, the ghost just shoves them. <laughs> yeah, and if you get shoved hard enough, or run into or shoved into something like a wall or a desk or something then you take damage, and if you take enough damage, that kills you. Mm. You know, as it would. Um, and since they already have the sanity meter, that would probably be the most uh, I would recommend they punish a player for, you know, getting physically hit too many times, you know? Cause yeah. Otherwise, I would... And that and how slow they move already. Maybe if they upped the speed a bit. Uh, just a bit. Not much. Just a bit. Um, not like full on actual video game speed walking or sprinting or anything like that, you know, yeah. but like just a bit, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, but yeah, because then if they upped it a little bit, it, like on both the holding shift and the non holding shift, then uh -huh. I would be fine with them potentially like having damage. Like over time, it wears off. You don't recover the health, but the actual slowing, slow movement, slowed movement does wear off over time. Um, that way, you're not just like permanently crippled or something like that. Um, yeah, that would be a bit much. But yeah, like, you don't regain your health much. except to if you go back to the van. Like not even like the sanity pills. You can carry around the sanity pills, um, but like you go back to the van and have to actually access the first aid kit or something like that to heal yourself. Yeah. That, um, could, that could be interesting. Because then it would be, it would be more of a reason to actually go, unless, and then they could also include like actual character classes where there are, where there are items where everybody can carry, like the ones that are currently in game. And then certain, cla certain classes or characters that can, that have an extra item that they cannot put down or share but can use on either themselves or their allies or to find the ghosts, you know, like a medic specifically is what I'm thinking is a medic, someone who carries around a weaker version of the medical kit that has like two or three uses, you know? Okay. So, so someone who focuses specifically on making sure right. the other they still carry, alive. they can still carry the other three items, you know, um, cause those should be things that everybody can carry but they also have a fourth item that only they can use and they cannot replenish it or put it down you know and once you use it you use it yeah and it automatically mm -hmm. refreshes each match obviously but like yeah once you're inside a match you cannot mm -hmm. refresh it i think that would give it a bit more of a a person who can and and obviously you would want it to be something that does not recover as much health as yeah. like going to the van because like going to the van would be you click the thing and you would do an insta full heal right mm -hmm. um but if you if you're a medic maybe uh it gives you maybe it instantly removes the speed debuff right uh -huh. and then instead of an instant heal it's a you have to sit there and hold this button on the person for however long, you know, 
that mm -hmm. basically they would need to make it so that it does not become more powerful than going back to the van. Um, but also balance it to a point where it would be, still be u worth using. So, like, maybe it does a quarter of the healing that the full van thing does, but also instantly removes the speed debuff and the, um, and maybe, maybe has a temporary partial damage reduction for any attacks, physical attacks that happen, or physical damage that gets taken between now and, you know, for, for a certain amount of time. So, like, for a few seconds or something like that. So, like, if a ghost is attacking you after you've had this uh, uh, em field emergency aid or whatever the fuck, um, then you can... Then it, you'll be safe for a bit uh, from, the, from the... From the... From getting badly damaged um, for just a few seconds or something. Um... They would also probably need to do a little bit of balancing to the medical character themselves. Um, yeah. I mean, they don't even have to make it a character that you carry around, but, like, add kit. Like, a kit class. A, a kit classification. So it's like, in each match, it has four kits that you have to choose, that each player has to take one and can only take one, you know? And that way the four of you can discuss who's taking what and, you know, the strategy involved there. And then, but like, no trading, etc. you know? I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's going a little deeper than they were wanting to go. Potentially, I'm not sure. There's a, there's a lot of good ideas. It'll be interesting to see where, where they eventually go with the game. I honestly feel like the, anything they do with the game is just going to be adding maps and maybe ghost variants, maybe a few new items for people to play with. I don't think they're going to actually go that deep into a expansion. Yeah. But. Okay. Yeah, it's... It's getting... almost 10. Yeah. So... We've done a decent bit of chatting. We've played this game and all that. Um, which means that it's time to call it. Um, I will be putting the VOD of this stream up on my YouTube. Um, it might not be uh, as immediate as my other streams tend to be when I'm putting up the VOD. I might wait till tomorrow to actually download it, uh, download it from Twitch and upload it to YouTube. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, but, yeah. The VOD of the stream will be going up on YouTube. Um, and on Monday, I will be streaming again. I will be playing some Assassin's Creed 2. Um, I have an, if you don't know, I have an Assassin's Creed series that plays... Uh, every that I go through every Monday. I, I've been, I'm intending on going through the entire Assassin's Creed series. And when I say entire, I mean entire Assassin's Creed series. Um, so yeah, and then on Tuesday I also stream again, and I'm doing the same thing but with Tomb Raider, and I'm starting with the classic Tomb Raider 1, which I've been, I, I think, if I remember correctly, last stream, I'm, om I think I'm almost done with, I'm, I think I'm maybe three quarters of the way done with the second overall level of tomb raider one but i don't remember for sure um but yeah so you can check those things out um monday it will be a 2 30 p.m stream central time so 3 eastern um i know it's earlier in the day but uh, that's the time that worked the best for me i'm, I'm looking on possibly at possibly changing it but i don't know um and tuesday is another 6 p a 6 p.m stream like today was both only go for about two hours, though, so they won't be as long as this one was. Um, and if you are actually watching this on YouTube, then please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I hope my Dean Winchester impre uh, my horrible Dean in uh, Dean Winchester impression did not scare too many people off. Sam, um, Sammy, um, 
And if by any chance, um, Jensen, um, Jensen is the guy who played Dean is watching this, I'm sorry. I love the voice you use for Dean Winchester. <laughs> you did a really good job. And honestly, you should reprise your role as the Red Hood at some point in time in something. Because you were amazing in under in the movie Under the Red Hood. Um, anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Assassin's Creed, Tomb Raider, in that order. Um, you should also check out my, uh, my socials if you don't already follow me. I have a link tree, um, which has all my socials and everything in it. It's got, uh, Facebook, uh, my, my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Tumblr, my, I think I even have my DeviantArt on there now. I don't remember. I got all my socials on there. Um, and, uh... Yeah, you, I post updates there, and, you know, on Twitter I I hang out and, you know, shit post a lot. Um, and uh, also on there is my Discord channel, uh, which Matt and I have been in all night, um, hanging out, chatting, video chatting, etc. Um, Trying to stay alive, you know, all the fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... And, uh, trying to think, trying to think, um, oh, everyone, sh also in my link tree are links to this guy and a bunch of my other friends, um, who all stream, um, so you should check them out when you can, um, we'll start with Matt because he's the one who's here, um, Matt is Melador219, uh, yep. Just give you. Uh, when do you stream? I, I, I've been more bad at it lately, but my usual times for streaming are Mondays and Wednesdays, starting at eight o'clock. Um, I know I this week I just I streamed a little bit. I, I usually go from eight to eleven, or around, or sometimes twelve. Last Wednesday, I ended up doing an impromptu stream, and it went until like one, two in the morning, which I paid for the next day, but it was still fun. Um, play all kinds of games. Um, Phasmophobia, as you can see, is one I want to start playing more often. Um, I was doing a playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, not sure if I'll continue that one. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I've been getting a little more into Monster Hunter. Um, had my little hiatus from the game when Baldur's Gate came out. Might go, get back into that. Um, would really love to do a Witcher 3 playthrough at some point. Um, oh, just come and hang out. We have a lot of fun. We It's it's pretty chill over on my stream. So, sometimes I just have a, a chill stream where I literally talk about D&D &D and all of that, all that other kind of fun stuff. So, yeah, other than not too much to it other than that, just... You know, come on by and lead, follow and all that kind of good stuff, and I'd super appreciate it. Um, also, in our friends list that come and hang out and who streams is uh, Yvonne B, who actually sent people over here at the start of the stream because uh, we piggybacked off the off of her stream because uh, she streams on Fridays, Sundays, and her boyfriend takes over her account on either Wednesday or Thursday, whichever day he's more available. Um, to, on Fridays, she's been streaming uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, um, and that's what she was playing earlier, though she did a little bit of Animal Crossing. Um, she's also played things like Stardew Valley, as well as Tales of Symphonia. Um, but her her main focuses are uh, Animal Crossing and uh, currently Legend of Zelda. Um, she has some... I think she said it's some tech-related thing happening on Sunday this this weekend. Um, I don't remember. I, I heard her telling about it because I was watching her stream as I was setting up for this one. And while Matt and I were having issues with 
you know, stuff. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I don't remember what she said. Uh, when her boyfriend takes over the stream, he usually streams Factorio with another streamer friend of ours, Mr. Generic Name, who popped in for a second in our, in my chat earlier just to say that, you know, uh, he's a scaredy cat and, but wished us well. Um, and, uh, yeah, they play Factorio, uh, for a few hours, either Wednesdays or Thursday. Um, but yeah, the times, cause I forgot to say the times for Yvonne's streams. Uh, Friday is 3 p.m. Eastern time. Thursday, if her boyfriend, uh, Thursday or Wednesday, when, if her boyfriend streams, they usually aim for around 4.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and on Sundays, uh, when she streams things, it's probably around noonish. I think. Does that sound right, Matt? Sounds about right. Uh, noon, 1 o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Um... Pay more attention to her. Uh, pay attention to her socials for more information. She's got on her Twitch. She's got a link to her link tree, which has Facebook, Instagram, etc., um, and uh, other information from that. Or you could just do the link tree thing, like for mine, and uh, add her Yvonne B, like her URL that's on the screen currently. Um, I think my camera has frozen. Yeah, my camera has frozen. Give me just a second, y'all. Yep, there uh, it is. There we go. I think that might fix it. No? Nope. You you straight up frozen. Well, I can see you moving on Discord, but... Yeah. No, nope, I'm full on frozen. Rip me. You're moving. Hmm. Full on frozen, huh? Apparently. I'm going to resist singing a certain song and possibly getting the video can. <clears throat> I appreciate that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I just had to quickly do brief fit futzing with, um with uh, OBS, cool. but I'm sorted, so that's, all right. Anyway, where were we? Um, <laughs> the, uh, another, another friend of ours that streams is Eternity's End. Um, he streams two to 6 p.m. Wednesday, uh, Eastern time on Wednesdays, uh, usually playing something multiplayer like Call of Duty or something like that. Um, he streams six to 10 p.m. on Sundays, calls those RPG days where he plays things like Outer Worlds, I think is what he said that he plays on That's those days. Um, and his URL is on screen as well. Uh, it's down, it's uh, here underneath uh, Melador 219s, who you, you know. Uh, if you need me to talk about him some more, I, I could, but I mean, we've already covered everything pretty much. Um, and then last up is Cosplay Katie. Uh, she's a cosplayer who streams on Twitch. Uh, she's also on Instagram, uh, both under both, uh, both things under the name Cosplay Katie. Um, the, uh, you can find a link to her Instagram on her Twitch. Um, and you can find, uh, you know, more information about her over there as well. Uh, her schedule is rather fluid. She is trying to find a rigid schedule, but her, you know, life is life essentially um uh she was playing some assassin's creed valhalla on tuesday uh, before uh before my tomb raider stream at 6 p.m eastern um so she's she's done that she's into assassin's creed um <clears throat> witcher 3 batman arkham games all uh wow she does world of warcraft she's um but uh those are what she plays, what uh, has played, what she co she's cosplayed like a Harley Quinn. Uh, I think she said her first ever, uh, one of her first ever cosplays was the Arkham Knight version of Harley Quinn. And cool. uh, as, as uh, Matt has said in other locations, he's seen her Siri and it's pretty damn good. 
Her um, series is pretty dope. And uh, she's also done an Assassin one. Um, oh, she did uh, Mary Reed from Assassin's Creed 4 as well. That was another one of her early ones, she said. Um, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, so you can all check them out on those links. Um, I will I will quickly add them to the chat because uh, I'd been forgetting to do that. So let me do that real quick. Uh, do you have anything else you want to add, Matt? No, that's um, that's pretty much it. Appreciate everyone coming out and saying hello. All right. Um, yeah, so you can check them out all out there, or, or you know, you can come into my stream, because I host them um, whenever they're on, and I'm not, as long as there's no conflict of interests. Well, not interests, but, like, conflict of streams. Anyway, um, I do have one last thing that's very important that I have to say. Um, very, very important thing to say. Um, so make sure you guys pay close attention to this, because I, I you, you know, I don't want you forgetting it. Um, this goes for you too, Matt. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, before I say that very important thing, do we want to talk a bit about the, uh, upcoming D&D stream on the 23rd yet? Because yeah, we, we talked about that. it a little bit before. Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and add that to my, to my script, my little note, script notes. Um, so... We don't need to go into too much information, but on the December 23rd, um, Yvonne B. and Melador will be co-DMing a game of Dungeons & Dragons over on Yvonne B.'s channel, correct? Yep. Um, it's going to be Christmas-themed, sort of, and um, if I remember correctly, right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, and... Uh, it's on the 23rd. We'll have more information as we get closer to the event. Um, it'll be them DMing, and I think that you guys said five players currently? Four for sure, and a possible five, yep. Okay. Um, and we may have a guest appearance by me. At the very least, I will be in the chat watching. Because um, I will take almost any opportunity I can to poke and tease my friends and or also encourage them and you know enjoy their creativity and awesomeness because they are a thousand times more awesome than me um but yeah so that's december 23rd um i think that's kind of everything for now pay more attention to uh, not pay more attention but pay it uh, but uh, keep an eye on our socials and stuff like that and our discords and we'll we'll post more information on anything as it comes up um as for these streams these phasmophobia ones for me at least will not become a weekly thing um i will it'll probably i mean i may appear on matt's if he i'm willing to stream to play the game with you more almost anytime you want if i'm available mm -hmm. and, and or don't have other things going on um cool. but i don't think i will be actively streaming it on a regular basis due to various internet struggles um the internet struggle uh, is quite real yeah especially where i, I live because i live in a rural area that's like almost backwoods type shit so the basically i get fucked over by my isp on a regular basis but i don't want to go into that tonight and that's okay but anyway um so yeah, I, I'm I will not be doing this on a regular basis. Not to say that I will never stream this again, you know. Um, but I do because uh, whenever we do the whenever we get to a point where we do an asylum one, I want I want to stream that. Um, yeah, the... Like if we can get a full group and stream that. And with all four of us on cam and everything like that, assuming people are comfortable and willing, I think that would be pretty awesome. And I kind so I think I think that may not be the next time I stream this. I may stream it once or twice between now and then, whenever that happens. But 
I think... But yeah, I won't be streaming this on a regular basis. Um, and... But I will be... I am perfectly willing to play this with Matt whenever, and if he streams it, then I may make an appearance. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, other than that, on to my important, my last final important thing. Um, this last bit, as I said, is very important, so make sure you pay very close attention. I want you to remember this, so you, and don't forget it. You matter. You do. You are important. You are loved. And you deserve love. In these rough, dark times, you have to take care of yourself. Taking time off from things, be it social media, streaming, fighting for your right to live, whatever. Take time off from it for your own mental health. It's okay to do that. It's a good thing to do that. Your physical health and mental health matter equally. I know things are looking... a bit more helpful depending on where you stand on the road right now but there's still a lot to get done and things are still going to get worse before they get better at least until near the end of january uh probably still after that um i'm not much of an optimist when it comes to these things uh <laughs> the uh Take the time you need to celebrate what victories you can. Don't become complacent or think that it's done. Don't fully relax, but celebrate. It's okay to celebrate. It's okay to breathe a bit easier, even though it's not going to get better. Even though it's not going to get better yet. Take time to treat yourself. You know, like. Like Crimson Knight says, you know, you got to take time to, you know, take care of yourself, you know, especially during these hard times and be more forgiving of yourself too. You know, this is a stressful time and I, I've seen, you know, some people, you know, really have these high expectations like, oh man, well, I'm trapped inside all the time. I'm going to start all these projects or I'm going to do these hobbies. Or I'm going to do this thing. I'm going to do that thing. It's okay to have those days once in a while where you just crash and, you don't feel like doing anything. That's okay. You know, you, you don't need to constantly be out there and constantly be being productive. Make make time for self-care. Take time for yourself. And to be fair, even if you do slip into a depression or whatever else, or you just do lose that momentum, you know, and slip into a... Uh, lackadaisical daily schedule where you're just flumping around from you know from bed to couch and back you know that's okay too i mean not necessarily healthy but it's okay um if you need help ask for it and you know this guy's a therapist <laughs> he's fucking that's okay for me to say live on the internet, right? He asks yeah. after having said it out, li uh, out loud and outing you. Um, yep. Yeah, he, he's a therapist. So, you know, he knows therapy works. Therapy helps. If you need it, I mean, money is a thing, but there are resources online where people will talk to you and, you know, things oh, like yeah. that. There's for free, too, it, you know, and I'm not even talking like social media, but like, as he said, be easy on yourself. Be forgiving of yourself. It's okay to do what you need to be done for you to survive. Um, the uh, as I've said, it's just gonna get it's gonna get worse before it gets better, and but it can get better. It will get better if good people fight for it if they stand up and do the right thing and you know it it'll take time it'll take effort it won't happen overnight it won't be an instantaneous thing and as i keep saying it will get worse before it gets better but it will get better it will 
it's going to be an uphill fight, <laughs> but it, we can do it if we work together, if we do it together. And to the to the point of asking for help if you need help, there are cri I have crisis resources available um, in my uh, in my link tree, and they're currently in the Twitch chat, um, and they're down below in my YouTube uh, description. If you're watching this on YouTube, they're excuse me, they are links to resources, free resources. For suicide prevention, substance abuse, domestic abuse, sexual assault, check them out if you need them. Um, unfortunately, they are only available in the United States of America. However, I do know that they do exist, versions of them do exist in other countries of the world. So if you need them and you are not in the United States of America, Google them, and I'm sure you'll find them. Um... Wear a mask, wash your hands, keep at least six feet away from each other because COVID-19 is still here and it's getting worse. We had one of the worst days of, uh, shit, what was it? Uh, was it hospitalizations or deaths? I know in Illinois, they had the highest number of deaths in a single day that they've had this entire year. I, I'm pretty sure it was just um, overall cases. Um, okay. We crossed... I can't. It was like over two hundred thousand new cases in one day. Yeah, which is horrifying. Right, and of those cases, there's percentages that will get better. There are percentages that will be asymptomatic. There are percentages who will die, and it's painful. It sucks. It's horrible. It's depressing. But if we take care of each other and take care of ourselves washing our hands wearing a mask keeping six feet away from each other not go not staying indoors not going indoors with strangers not only staying around people who you normally live with on a regular basis um you know ha if you have to gather do it outside and stay social distanced you know and always, 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 always be wearing that mask when you're not at uh, when you're around somebody you don't normally live with. Yeah, just letting and, that sit in for a second. <laughs> and for, and whatever you do, folks, like <clears throat> this has been an issue at at my clinic. Like I know it's a pain in the butt to have to be wearing these masks. It's been going on for a long time. Now I have glasses, you know? So when I have my mask on, I breathe and sometimes my glasses fog up. There's times when, you know, the strap will snap off and just, it's a pain in the butt, you know? Everyone's feeling it. And depending but, on the mask you're wearing, you could feel pain on your ears from the pressure of the things pulling on them. Exactly. Um, or like, um, the masks I wear, they pull down on my nose and cause my no the tip of my nose to hurt. Um, but just and when you go into certain places, they'll like ask for your temperature and if you've been in contact with anyone and stuff like that. For the love of God, don't lie. <laughs> yeah, we, we've had that issue in our in our in my in the clinic that I work at where people will go in, they'll get their temperature taken. They'll, have you been in contact or left the state? No. But then as soon as they get in and sit down with the therapist, they pull the mask off and they're like, Oh yeah, I did come in contact with someone a few weeks ago, but I'm fine. It's like, we can't be selfish just because you're fine. Does not mean that you can, that everyone else is going to be fine. It's not just old people that are, it's not just, the Babies. immune compromised. It's not just the 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 children. You know the the little little babies. It's it's you know you don't know. It could be anybody. It could be your next door neighbor that has a immune system issue. It could be someone's kid that has asthma. You don't want to don't be that person who's like, well, it didn't affect me. I'm fine. You know everyone's different. Be 
yes, we get it. It's uncomfortable, but you have to think about others. And if it and if wearing a mask bothers you that much, get a face shield. I've seen people wear that too because they insist on not being able to breathe with the masks. Okay, get a face shield then. You, 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 the only caveat I would though. add to that is <laughs> that the face shields don't protect as well as the masks. This is true. But, you know, it's better than nothing. And exactly. um on the uh, uh, on election day, when I, I was I had volunteered to be a, a poll worker in my area um, for election day, and they provided us with masks and face shields. However, uh, none of the people other than me wore the face shields. Um, I wore both when I could, um, but like one of them picked up a face shield and looked at it. And like they looked at it for like half a second, like like they like they held it up in front of their face, like they were trying to look through it, and for half a second, and didn't they didn't pull any of the plastic off or any of the protective material or anything like that off, like you know you should, with big ass words on the front on the top of it that say remove protective plastic before trying to use, you know they picked it up, looked at it, it's obviously not. You know, it's obviously got that protective film on it, and they're just like, "Oh, you can't see shit through that," and then threw it on the floor. Don't be that person either. Um, if you can't see through your face shield, wash it. They are washable. They're plastic. Um, if you can't, if or you know, check to make sure you actually removed both sides of the protective film. Not just the outside, not just the inside, but both sides. And, you know, like I said, if you still can't see through it, fucking wash it. The other thing about the immunocompromised, uh, at least in Britain, I, I'm, I'm not as confident about this in the States, but in Britain, there are people who have not left their house since March. Like, at all. Um, there, there is a YouTuber I follow on social media, Ickle Nelly Rose. She's awesome. You should check her out if you, you know, haven't already. Um, but she is immunocompromised. And she has had, she has not been able to leave her house since March. Um, not even to go grocery shopping. Not even to go check the mail. She has not left her house once. She doesn't even go out into her backyard and walk around. She Because she has neighbors that live way too close. And uh, she lives in London. And they share a ba they, they have this system where like they share a backyard or something like that. Like it's a garden, more of a backyard. Or something like that. I don't remember exactly what she was saying about how it how it's laid out. But like... She hasn't been able to breathe fresh air from outside without opening a window, you know, since then, since March, since the beginning of all this shit. And the people who, like her, who have been actually behaving as they should be are, they deserve better than, than this. For every for every person who walks around without a mask on, that's probably another day or so that they're gonna ha that they won't be able to leave the house that those people won't be able to leave the house. I mean, I'm I don't have exact numbers for that. That's entirely me pulling that out of my ass. But like, every person walking around affects everybody else. And just because other people wear masks doesn't mean that you know that they are safe the masks protect us from them and the only way for <laughs> Night on we're wrapping up we're in the middle of our our covid rant <laughs> the inevitable covid rant that everybody knew was going to happen when when it was matt and crimson streaming <laughs> it's fine um but, 
yeah, that they wear them wearing a mask does not make them safe from you. It makes you safe from them. So, I mean, be kind, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Be considerate, be empathetic, be safe. You know, even if you're not sure, if you're, even if you feel like you aren't sick, do it anyway. Or just don't, if you don't want to wear a mask, just don't go outside. I mean, if you have to work, call in sick. You know, I mean, that's a cold way of me saying it, and I know that a lot of people can't afford to do that for, a regular, for you know, long terms, but I, there comes a point where global health has to be more important. And I know that in America, at least, the government, the people in charge are treating this like it's nothing. And that the most important thing for people to do is get back to work. But that's not the most important thing to do. Um, they're treating it, they're treating all this thing like it's nothing to worry about. And if you've been paying even the most remote bit of attention, you can see that it's, it's such a big deal. This is not, this is very much something to worry about. Um show people the same level of respect and consideration that you would want to be shown that they, that you know other people show you have empathy be kind love yourself and love everyone around you and with that i'm gonna shut myself up before i spend another hour and a half on this and <laughs> i will see you all next time on monday 2.30 p.m. East, uh, Central Time. Have a and good night, y'all. We'll see you guys Monday if I don't have a impromptu stream uh, sometime over the weekend, but definitely on Monday. want to get back on track with a regular schedule again. Yep. So we will see you all next time. All right. Peace. Deuces.